Okay. I'm gonna be honest. Hello, hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine he the was so, that we scared about. <laughs> <laughs> he was scared when he came in. <laughs> I was, I was. Hello, how are we? We are fantastic. Good. Great. Welcome out to episode Great. two. Um, we are back after a week off. I say week off. I don't know why we were here last week. Um, <laughs> I was like, did we miss a week? Yeah, yeah no, we didn't. Already. I don't know why I said that. Like Time is relative. Six days Time is are like yeah, exactly, twenty-one yeah. hours off. Technically, we were a week off, just uh, as expected, as normal, for our weekly schedule. Um, so, hello, welcome out. Uh, I hope you're all doing good. Does anyone have anything they want to shout out before we start? We'll do the big shout out to the end, where people can follow you at the end of the stream. But for now, is there anything pressing that anyone wants to shout out? Any big news or anything? Or do you want to get started? Oh. Um. No. Don't worry, it's no. not required if, if, if there is actually anything. No. It's just yeah. now I'm doubting if there is something and I've no. forgotten it. Now I'm that's, like. That's how you feel. That's why he does this, so that it puts you on the back foot. And you're okay. like, well, I well don't Mark, know. Mark, you have a thing soon. Oh, well, I, was, I, did, I, I wasn't sure about whether because uh, so yeah so on Monday uh, there is, is this the thing you're talking about Gabe are you talking about the thing on Monday is that what the... yeah yeah okay okay yeah so on on Monday uh, I'm doing a, a, a charity live stream D and D one shot uh, awesome. for Jasper's game day which is a suicide prevention charity and it's been going on a very long time it's very rad Gabe you're going to be doing some stuff as well probably. and then probably i think brizzy is joining me i was nice. going to do have something well, to the, shout I, out i was like i, I was like do i mention it like oh was it because no, like no, you know, some stuff yeah. still being worked on some stuff still being sort of like locked in mm -hmm. um but yeah so uh yeah brizzy's playing in my game along with michael galvis from dnd beyond um oh. and then a bunch of people who bid on tickets they actually raised money for charity yes. um they raised a ton of money for my game which thank you very much to those who did um and they're gonna be playing with us on stream for uh, on dnd beyond on the dnd beyond twitch channel for oh, jasper's yes. game day um it's an eberron mystery one shot so it is a kind of that detective agency mystery adventure so that sounds nice. really fun yes thanks gabe i was like i'm i was gonna talk about it on my show but i didn't want to you know everywhere man no, Get yeah. it out there. The word. Mark, Mark, word i feel like you should never feel bad about talking about something you're doing for charity that's true yeah that's, all that's of that that's for sure point. that's true yeah Plus, it's cool as hell. It is cool as hell, and it sounds like a great one shot. Um, it's gonna be hard. Mark is a scary deal. Awesome. <laughs> well, come out on Monday for that. Um, yes. If there's anything else, otherwise, do you want to get started? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do it. So I have a Jump kind of a in. tradition with uh, running D and D groups where I make someone from the group. I say make as if it's like a teacher forcing. He he truly like does. Gives already which they've turned <laughs> his into. Hand up. Where I, I I say, does anyone want to read the recap? Yes. You want to read it? I'll read it. Okay. I've oh, got, so you've I'll, written I'll a recap. It. We don't have to make one up. You've done yeah, one. I, I, I mean, you can you can. <laughs> oh, no 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 no. You yes, give me that. I I do voice we'll acting. I would love to read the script. Two years. There in you go. Two. Yeah. No, I right. will give it that. Whenever I ask the other group, they're always like. It will look down like I've asked him to come to the front and read that. We've work. established this fresh blood. So it's he, so he much fun. He makes games now to get us to read it, and we somehow managed to yeah, get so him. Yeah, we have to like roll. Yeah, yeah, I started bringing in games where they roll charisma checks. Kind of negotiated a game for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah now you know for next time though. For sure. months. Yeah. yeah. In our first episode of Mistletoe, we watched a group connected by destiny meet in the halls of Herod. In the most southern parts of Midgard, Hrothgar's Hall of Herod stands as a bastion to all that is merry. This night, many travelers had gathered to witness a prophecy. Two gods, revealed to be Thor and Ares, would meet and share a drink in Hrothgar's Hall. Five adventurers, Lena, Eldred, Juno, Willoughby and Draven all meet and share a common interest in the gods. 
all for their own reasons. Neither god shows, and in their stead, Thor sends his daughter, Thrud, and Ares sends a mortal messenger from Kanos. Thrud brings the body of the messenger and brings with her a lover named Suckface, I mean Brooder, <laughs> before inhaling a bathtub's worth of ale laid out for the gods. She warns that if anything were to happen to Brooder, she would hurt those responsible. She departs to her room, and in the king's hall, where few are, Brulder mocks our adventurers before sitting on the throne. Busting through the wall behind him, a great arm reaches and grabs the hanging arm of Grendel before consuming it. And then it does the same to Brulder. In the king's hall, red goblin-like creatures burst through the ground and prepare to fight. So... Well read, by the way. Thank you very much for reading it. Um, <laughs> hey, my pleasure. The you can I do a delayed shout out to the fact that Bruder fucking died because that guy sucked. Yeah. <laughs> <Delayed shout out. laughs> that dude sucked, and I'm glad he's dead. I said it. Well, yes, as you should be. You just witnessed as the arm tore him through the wall, kind of spiraling against the splintered wall, and out of the ground around you. In this quiet king's hall, bursting through various kind of cracks in the ground and through wooden planks on the floor and in the walls. These small goblin-sized red-skinned creatures where they're kind of almost their blood kind of flows underneath their skin. Large, bony, keratin-based jaws. Swords, shields, and ready to fight. Let's go ahead and move... To the battle screen. Yeah. Oh, way. And okay. let me get your initiatives. They are kind <laughs> of cute. They oh, are no. kind of cute. <laughs> this is kind of my Norse mythology goblin. Because um, there is no real equivalent. Uh, <clears throat> so, if you want to put your uh, tokens onto the board, I, I imagine you're either on the right or left side, depending wherever you want to be, of um, of the central kind of feasting area. And then go ahead and each roll initiative. If you uh, if you haven't played much in World 20, you have to click your token before you roll initiative. Or does it doesn't pop yes. on the turn order. It's always remembering how it works. Uh, and we can begin our first battle. I rolled it in real life, so can I? Uh, yeah, I can. I can manually add it. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, 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 uh. I, I decided not to bother getting my dice, so I'm just going to go pure digitally <laughs> today. <laughs> I don't want to go first. <laughs> go first. Guess who's going first? Rizzy, what did you oh, roll? Thank God. I was thought I had 20. to go first, Cave. I'm really glad. <laughs> no! I admit I when I rolled, I was like, don't be first, don't be first, don't be first. Should have been you, Mark. No. <laughs> no. I'm not, I'm not prepared. No. <laughs> okay, what did you roll, Rizzy? 20. Yes! Ooh. There you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, did he save you? I'm gonna go grab my charger real quick. Yeah, watch, watch Joe watch roll twenty one initiative for these goblins. Yeah, they nice. swarm it. <laughs> They're actually really tough. They and all have full armor, <laughs> uh, and they're really buff. <laughs> 36 hit points. Yeah, right. Well, you guys aren't ready for that. You guys aren't ready for some pro pro D D. <laughs> what do you have? How many hit points do you have? What do you have? Like 12? <laughs> and descending order. Well, I mean, <laughs> technically they did roll 22. God damn it! I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> you like I don't plan that. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> hacks. Glad we should have so, gone first. Hacks. Mad hacks. Bursting through the ground. The closest one to you. Kind of holds its shield ready and rushes straight towards you, Lena. Yep. And it opens its mouth <clears throat> wide and goes Ew. in for a bite. The fuck? It's got a sword. Please that do that. That is a <laughs> unnatural 20 to hit. Okay, cool. Ooh, rabies. I That's a bad hole. Do this. You see it launch up and just bite down on your arm and clamp shut. You feel the kind of piercing going through. You take seven points of piercing damage. Uh, and you're also considered grappled. However, um, I'm like, <laughs> you can still walk around at half your speed. Okay. It's basically hanging off you and being a weight. Uh, ah. Okay. 
On the other side, you see Shit. <laughs> the others. I think there's one below you as well. The one below rushes around, bursting from the ground. Right up to you, Willoughby. Don't, don't do it. And this one is going to take a no, short sword stab. Don't. <laughs> That's a natural one. You see as it just pushes it straight forward and then clinks the end of its sword and breaks against your arm. It ting, 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 clinks it over to the side and looks down. <laughs> Panicking a little bit. On the other side of the room, you see several more burst through. This one's going to 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's going to rush over here and... Yeah, to you, Eldred. It's going to pick up a bit of rubble from the ground and just throw it towards you. A nine to hit? I'm guessing it doesn't hit. Uh, th no. No, you just see it. <laughs> no. Oh, sure. Not kind of expecting the weight of it. Uh, this one's going to rush over here. 15, 20, 25. And it's going to end its turn with a dodge action. As you kind of see, it kind of prepares, holding its shield up. Uh, let's use this for that. Uh, <clears throat> this one's going to do rush up here, stand on the table, and take the toss action against Juno. It's going to throw a oh. splintered kind of almost like one of the planks it bursts out of the ground with. Actually, no, because it's on the table. It's going to take a piece of like like hardened pie and just launch it towards you. A 15 oh, to hit? <laughs> even better. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, don't even have deflect. Come that's on. That's true. That's true. Not yet. A 15 to hit? Uh, no, 16 AC, so nice. just <laughs> managed to duck and weave. Yeah, you can just see as it just splatters down, a little bit of sprays onto Willoughby as you duck under it. And... Oh, it... sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Are there yeah, any more? One, two, three. I think, I think that's them. All right, Eldred. I am going to scrabble up to the one that attacked Lena and try to put my hands around its throat. Like okay. trying to move it. You can <laughs> trying to move my arm towards you. Like <laughs> another creature yeah. can also pull it off of it with a uh, contested grapple check. Well, uh, I'm not worrying about that. I'm just going to uh, gotcha. put my hands around its throat and cast inflict wounds. <laughs> okay, well to attack. Hell yes. Twenty five. A 25 hits. No. So as I cast Inflict I Wounds, um, I sort of scream this like gaspy inhale, like, mm -hmm. and this, these uh, vaguely humanoid ghostly figures burst out of the floor, uh, through the floor, they don't break the floor, and sort of wrap around um, the Grendling in a spiral and then encircle my hands and sort of stab through into its throat. Awesome. Yeah, you just see as these kind of spectrals come up. Is it, everyone else can see them, right? Yes. Nice. Yeah, go ahead and roll damage. Oh, come on. Big money. That's a face. <laughs> oh my. Inflict Wounds is a wildly powerful spell. I love it's it. 25. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Level two. And the spirits just kind of infuse it, and you just see... And you just see it kind of just tears open, blood trickling down it, covering your hands None of the well. rest of you touch her! And it drops down, dead. Do you know what the hell was that? I don't know. I'm just just like... Sort of look in her direction, and yeah, a little, little bit worried, and maybe a bit scared. <laughs> Um, anything else, Eldred? Uh, no, I'll take a step in front of her to the north. Yeah. Okay. Draven. Although she probably wants to get past me. We'll see. <laughs> if I step onto these tables, will I be moving through the flames that are cooking? Uh, no, you can, you can weave in there. As long as you're not going through the center, if you're going to go on the sides of them, you can kind of get around them. I know the, the five-foot so, gap, though. You can kind of dodge around it. So, like, if I moved through this spot... As long as you don't end your turn on that spot, you should be good. Then that here. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be enough. Cool. Yeah, if All you're right, on the cool. fourth slot there, you take 1d6 points of fire damage. I was going to risk it if I had to. Uh, he is literally just going to leap up to the table, and there is a look of 
ravenous hunger and his eyes flash that harvest moon yellow he pulls out his long blade and then just goes to stab the one next to him okay you do have disadvantage because it took the dodge action and it needs every advantage it can get yes, it does. <laughs> all right and i'm striking one-handed with a long sword mm-hmm. it's an 18 to hit 18 <laughs> disadvantage <laughs> Uh, all right. So that is seven points of slashing Ooh, damage. Nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you just bring your blade down. You see the blood trickle and spray out. The blood the same color as his skin. Sprays out. Are you a dinner or a pet? You Decide. See, it, it try to dodge away from you. How the fuck that? Just mutters in this kind of guttural tone towards the other one. And it just turns and looks towards you, focusing on you. Doesn't answer you back. <laughs> Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> okay. Um, you see entering the fray from the side, the one over here, comes up, and you see, unlike the others, its jaw is probably twice the size, still built of bone. It kind of jaggedly goes down. And you see it kind of has its hair braided uh, in like a tighter bun. Steps forward and goes, Oh, she got ah! It is going to pick up two pieces of rubble from the ground and launch them your way, Draven. Bring it. A 10 and a 23 to hit. 23 will hit. You take nine points of bludgeoning damage. It hold really high. Um, as just this piece of splinters hits against you and scrapes against the side of your neck. Amazing. And then, could you also make... Uh, no, sorry. No, no, no. It's not going to do that. Uh, it's going to take its bonus action. And every one of its creatures within 40 feet of it, which I don't know if it's... If anyone's over here, I think that's further away. Yep, that one's too far away. All the other ones, it starts making this kind of, like, clamping sound. And you just start seeing its jaw vibrate. And then open <laughs> wide. And every single one around it, jaw... And in unison, they kind of Ew. vibrate to the same beat. These jaws just kind of vibrate and the teeth ready. That's the of the time. Draven starts laughing almost maniacally after he starts bleeding a bit. Okay. Juno. Okay. So. <laughs> Juno will uh, probably seeing these these ones their jaws vibrating uh mm-hmm. will look around and sort of see the spooky energy uh the eldritch just conjured um and sort of raise an eyebrow and then i'm going to turn to the one next to willoughby and sort of be like i'm going to help you with this one just for now and uh i will scoot round um and in fact actually i'll move i'll use all my movement to flank it okay. properly like get round uh, i don't know if you do flanking but just for tactical visuals i, I don't do flanking rules but yeah for that's, visuals, fine. that's fine yeah for visuals uh so i'll move all the way around to the side and uh in terms of like fighting it's it's very sort of street boxing it's not like martial arts Mm -hmm. unarmed strikes like kind of kung fu this is more like properly like she weaves in and like kind of delivers like some street boxing kind of blows and stuff like that and i'm just going to do um an unarmed strike and then as a bonus action use my martial arts do another unarmed strike okay i'm just gonna do two little unarmed strikes uh so first one uh, 20, I think, is because we take the first, yeah, take one, the first right? row. Yeah, that hits. Uh, okay, so that's 20 to hit. Um, and then, oops, I think it just rolled twice. That was the second one, so I'll just say that that's a miss. Yeah. Um, how do I do the. I thought I clicked damage there. Is oh, if damage? you could, uh, click on uh, monk unarmed strike, the actual word inside the oh, chat. Oh, sorry, there okay. we go. Three All right, points. so only, there's only three points of damage on that first one, and then the second one uh, was a miss with a 12, I'm assuming. Yeah, the 12 misses. You yeah, see so the. Oh, so would hit for sure. Nice. Yeah, and I think that, yeah, it's very, uh, the way that she's fighting is almost kind of like looking around, taking everything in, trying to size up how these things are like moving and fighting. Mm-hmm. And it's just kind of like peppering a few light punches and kicks and stuff like that just to gauge what this thing is like for now. Yeah. Um, okay. And that's it. It's going to be my turn. I'll say it's a bonus action. Go ahead and make a um, an insight check. Kind of get an idea Ooh, to their yeah. tactics. Yeah. Uh, only a 12. I see with the 12, you can realize, you can kind of see who the who the leader of them clearly is, the one barking yeah. out orders. Um, 
you kind of get this idea of a kind of a scattered fray. They're very much uh, just chaos. They're, kind of they're chaos. chaos. Yeah, they're, they're they're trying to just yeah. cause as much panic as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. All cool. right. Yeah, that's me done. Lena. Okay. I'm gonna kind of shake my arm mm -hmm. a little, look at it, nod at Eldred, and uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a step around so that I come up next to her. Yep. So that I can see this one up here a little bit better. And um, I'm gonna just hold my arm. Okay. And um, it doesn't really look like I'm doing anything, but actually, uh, I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. How does it visually maybe, affect your wounds? Maybe I don't know your class either. So, <laughs> I yeah. have no idea what no. OLG is. <laughs> I don't know how, what, I know nothing. So, you gotta kinda pay attention or you won't really see it. I'm gonna put my hand on my arm and you're just gonna see a little blue glow that looks almost like a crashing wave and then it's gone. Okay. Um, okay. So what is that? This is a... So it'll be... Um, uh, D8. Yeah, D8 plus your spell custom modifier, I believe. Okay. Uh, so f uh, five... Your plus... Plus wisdom. one. So six. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then um, I'm going to nod <laughs> to myself mm -hmm. and uh, take a dagger out of my sheath and just be ready okay that's it okay interesting um and then last up willoughby willoughby is gonna look down at this small thing that just took a <laughs> swing at him and ricocheted and lost his weapon he's gonna lift up his foot or what would be his foot if it wasn't a pile of just roots mm -hmm. and cast shillelagh on his foot okay and then he's going to stomp down on this creature. <laughs> okay. Uh, 13 to hit. 13 just misses. You see as it brings up oh. its shield and you sprint to like part of its shield and holds it up. Like a tiny crack opens up and it looks up through the eye <laughs> and pulls it back down again. Right, that's, uh, you know, I'm going to take, I'm going to take the chance and uh, try to move away from this guy. Okay. I'm going to move up here towards the others. He's going to go for a bite attack. A 12 to hit? Does not. Just clamps in the air. You hear kind of the sound right behind you. All right. That's it. Top of the round. That one is going to turn straight towards Juno. And try and stab you with a short sword. It's kind of got a broken end, so it's going to have uh, a disadvantage to the attack. Okay. Which is a 7 I'll to hit. It. Misses. All right. You just see it kind of pushes forward. It comes up a little short because I think no, 15 would have hit anyway, so you would have dodged away from it anyway. It kind of clings mm -hmm. against the pillar to your side, but misses. Um, this one is going to rush straight towards Eldred and has advantage on its bite attack. Ah, uh, that's what the vibrating did. Mm -hmm. uh, which will be a 17 to hit Eldred. No. No. Okay, yeah. Damn, tanks up. And then bites and clinks against just your shield, and you can kind of feel the vibration go through it. Shield. And you hear <laughs> as it pulls its mouth away, <laughs> hoping for some flesh, but got none. This one next to you, um, Draven, is going to do the same. Uh, advantage bite. What's he doing? 22 to hit. But that hits. Seven points of piercing damage. And you're considered grappled, but you can move at half your speed, so it's kind of hanging off of you. So it's just going to clamp mm. against your leg. Incredible. Uh, and then the last one down here is going to rush through 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take the dash action and go straight up to Willoughby. So that's it. Eldred. Ah, I'm this one that just attacked me. I am going to 
scoop my hand down to the floor and raise it up. Um, just sort of uh, whispering, Die tall. And as I bring my hand up more, ghostly figures are going to swirl up above them, and I'm going to swirl my hand uh, in the motion that they're doing and sort of clap my hands together as they uh, attack his head and swirl around, and there's these screaming ghostly voices coming from his head for Toll of the Dead. Sick. Yeah. All right. Um, and Toll of the Dead. Wisdom save. Mm hmm. That's a nine. Fail. Yes. Oh. I feel like Brizzy at this point is just like the damage cannon at the minute. Yeah, She's just right? wiping She's these guys out. She's shredding. Five She's... necrotic damage. Five necrotic damage. <laughs> So the spirit kind of push down and he's kind of causing piece of his skin to rot and burn away. <laughs> kind of puts his shield above his head despite doing nothing to save it. All right. <laughs> Anything else? No. <laughs> <laughs> he left. Terrifying. <laughs> it is terrifying. Uh, all right, Draven. So this one that just bit me. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm going to return the favor. Okay. And as a damper, if my health has been reduced to under half, I get advantage on my bite. You do indeed. Uh, so after it bites down on my leg, he just says, oh, that's the game. <laughs> <laughs> his eyes look up and he's got a bite into it. His eyes are staring wide eyed as it's kind of clamps onto you. Uh, 14 to hit. That is exactly its armor class. You hit. And, uh... I have, so with my proficiency bonus, I can add an effect to it. I'm going to regain health equal to the damage that I deal out to it. Yep. Uh, so I'll regain four uh, HP by dealing four piercing damage. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Every little helps. I just kind of. The, the maniacal laughter, he his eyes probably turn a milky black when he mm. bites into this creature and looks into its eyes and he's just very slightly going to whisper I offer you to grandfather and that's my turn okay yeah and you get the, so spooky the taste is sharp it's kind of almost tangy um, it would be putrid to someone else if they were to try it but to you as someone who can kind of digest this sort of blood it's a strange new flavor one of a different land ah, love this place <laughs> <laughs> the big one's gonna kind of look over to you and then and then rush forward and 15 20 25 30 and it'll hold up its shield and also take the dodge action as it closes in on the others. Juno. Okay, so uh, I'm seeing that the others are like, we're starting to get swarmed in. So I'm gonna circle around, keeping within five feet of this yep. guy. So kind of hopping off and kind of Bruce Lee, kind of uh, Jeet Kune Do, kind of like keeping my movement as I kind of sidestep around. Yep. Um, and I'm gonna look at this little, this little fella here. Uh, and I'm gonna do a punch. I'm just gonna do one unarmed strike first. Okay. Um, just to see 11 i'm gonna assume that's gonna be a miss Misses, um but then what as as juno kind of throws her own punch uh she's gonna look at this guy and say i don't have time to debate with you uh and then you begin to see it it's very faint um as this kind of golden fist almost seems to appear over her shoulder and just sh like sh does enough to shove the creature not a full blow but i'm actually going to use this as my telekinetic feat but it's manifested as my oh. my astral oh, my, my dialogus very cool and uh mm. this is a strength saving throw dc 14 or i can shove it five feet away from me it rolled a 30. okay so get knocked uh push push five feet away from me and then that clears me up and i'm actually gonna run up and basically uh get in the the big brutes way mm. um because i'm worried about them sort of like swarming around all the others who are currently engaged um, and sort of just like skid into place and kind yeah. of throw my hands up into a guard. You had to um, start over the table to get there as well and just kind of Yeah, like kind of like body death. slide over, bonnet slide kind of thing, Sick. like, and then like land. Because it's all kind of sand beneath you, see kind of a plume of sand come up around you and like 
mash the two of you together. Oh, cool. Awesome. That was a cool turn. Okay. Um, Lena. Okay. I am going to take a step forward. Mm -hmm. I lied when I said I would take my dagger because I forgot I had a sword as well. So I'm going to use that hmm. instead. Uh, and uh, I'm going to just go straight in for a good old gut stab. She's not going to say anything. She's going to look right in its eyes and just... Got it. So I believe I would have advantage on this because my friend is... No, no, no. Um, Distracting it by laughing. You can get a uh, sneak attack. You don't get advantage. Yeah, yeah, sneak attack. Sorry, so I get sneak attack. Yeah, so no yeah, advantage. Normally you can only get attack. sneak attack if you have advantage, advantage but if you have an ally within five feet. So here we go. Yeah. Uh, 17. Eight. That hits. Uh, oh. points of damage. <laughs> yeah. Just, oh. just move up straight away, step straight through this creature. 16 damage. It's throat burst open. Yeah, that was a high sneak attack roll. And then... And uh, she had dropped down to the ground dead. Then I'll just sort of look slightly apologetically at Eldred. Like, mm -hmm. kind of wipe it off on his dead body. No, you did good. Just grin. <laughs> That's it. Willoughby. Willoughby is going to casually continue to try to walk away from this <laughs> monster. This Stop one, following me. This one is the one that dashed, so it has an advantage on its next bite attack, so it's going to take advantage. A 17 to hit? 17 meets. Um, so you take six points of piercing damage. You're considered grappled. You can move at half your speed, dragging it with you. So it just sees your leg, and you okay. take... <laughs> and its mouth gets around it, kind of biting into the wood, just hooks in. So I'd be here then. He'd be dragged with me. Yep. Okay, well, if he's got me, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to punch him in the face with another... Yeah. <laughs> like I yeah. kicked him or something. I love this. 19 to hit. Oh. For nine damage. Oh, bludgeon. that's good damage. You just whack him and you just see his eyes like start flicker. And one of them kind of goes half, the other one goes half. And it <laughs> oh. just holds on and it just kind of bites down a little deeper, holding on. But it, it looks hurt. <laughs> you really did hurt it. That's and on my bonus sad. action, uh, mm -hmm. I am going to activate my starry form. You're going to start mm. seeing Fuck little, yeah, dude. It's kind of glow with more of the green sort of weird astral light of Yggdrasil all around him. And you're going to see dude. an almost archer like mm. entity appear above him and just start pointing down at the thing currently grabbing onto him. Okay. And that's my action. Awesome. Top of the round, uh, the Grenling. Uh, the one next to Draven. As it is biting you, it can only take its short sword action. It's going to try and stab you at the same time. That's a six to hit. It's going to try to jab out, but can't get around to you. That one, uh, that one just stays gripped on. Uh, I think the other, there's one on Willoughby. That one's going to, again, also what it can really do is use a short sword. That's a 17 to hit. I hit it again. Uh, seven points of slashing damage, as it does actually bring your blade right down the back of your leg. And you see splinters come off. And then the last one, seeing the ever dangerous Eldred's going to rush up behind her. <laughs> I think he's going to go for the bite as well. I love a bite. That's a nat 20. <gasps> yes. Oh. All right. But I rolled very low on the damage. Only five points of piercing damage. <laughs> and you just like see, bad. like, it has its perfect moment, knowing your back is kind of turned. Oh, it whips it. And it just bites and just kind of gets this awful kind of bite on the side of you. Just can't really kind of weave itself <laughs> off of it. You just feel this nasty bite right behind you. Um, that's it. Eldrick. Eldrick is terrifying. <laughs> just spin around slowly to this one that just bit me and um, again cast Toll of the Dead it's, it's locked and crash the spirits into his skull it's a 17 oh yeah yeah that saves it might be the fact that because it's clinging on behind you as you turn the spirits are kind of like finding it hard to weave around you to get to it and it's kind of in this really awkward position I manages to survive <laughs> all right uh, anything else with your bonus action or your uh, movement? No. Okay. 
Draven. I like this little friend, but yeah. he has lasted too long. Yeah. He's kind of like an expired apple that you enjoyed it with the first bite, but then you forgot about it, so you kind of just throw it out. Yeah. Um, so af as my fangs remove themselves from its flesh, uh, and I whispered the secret of grandfather, mm -hmm. I'm going to bonus action cast Hex on this little okay. uh, Grendeloid and then attack it. Okay, well, uh, um, my what ability score do you want to ha to have disadvantage of? Uh, well, they're already disgusting, so charisma is pointless. <laughs> yeah. That's Let's fair. go dexterity. Okay, dexterity check. <clears throat> okay. And uh, so let's roll this attack. I believe. It's a 25 to hit. That hits. For five slashing. Five slashing. And six necrotic, so 11 total. You just bring your blade right down through this creature, kind of just cleaving it in two. Drops down to the ground, just spooling blood across the sand. Another I toss does. it onto the fire so it starts cooking. Nice. Yeah, you just kind of get this. Oh, yeah. You see its blood kind of bubble immediately all across its body. In fact, its entire body would bubble. Of that. That is how you prepare it. Oh, everyone's over there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I'll use my movement actually to get over to this side, and then I just kind of like sit on a chair and watch like a happy child. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> Me are. Gonna fight the boss. It's fine. <laughs> I believe in all of you. Look, I had so much trouble right, with that crazy. one little that one little beastie monster by myself. Those things whoop my ass. <laughs> so <laughs> I believe in all of you. <laughs> You're Brizzy. She's basic something's wrong with yeah. her. <laughs> no. The big one <laughs> has advantage uh -oh. on its bite, because it still did it's still under the effects from its bonus action. Um so it's gonna oh, no. take a bite at you first. An unnatural twenty to hit. Uh <clears throat> you would take Juno, nine points of piercing damage. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, you are considered mm -hmm. completely grappled, uh, as it's a little larger than the other ones. Um, but also, under the effects of the Bane spell, as you feel right, it's a minus D4. Yeah, you feel its mouth bites into you, and it clamps down hard, and ah. you can kind of feel this like, almost just like, venom go into your skin, but almost all the bacteria in its teeth, causing your body to slow. Malaka. And then it's going to bring its short sword against you. Mm -hmm. That's an unnatural 20 to hit. Yep, still going to hit. Four points of Can't slashing damage. And then could you please make a wisdom saving throw? I can. Actually, no, you don't. 13. It can't do the. It can't do this. Uh, you would have saved anyway, oh. but it can't do this okay. whilst, um, whilst it's clamped down with its mouth. Uh, so you're good. You're good. Uh, yeah, you take the four points of slashing damage, and that's it. So it just cuts yeah. you as it bites into you. You're good. Eyes yeah, just kind of narrowing like, on you. Uh, no, I'm not good. <laughs> I look pretty bad. <laughs> uh, like blood pouring down the arm, like blood pouring down the side of the toga kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It is your turn, though, June. Okay. Uh, it's an action to, like, dislodge myself from this thing, right? But if it's bitten onto me, it can't bite me again. It's, like, clamped on, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's an action. It's a... Um... Uh, DC 11 escape check. So your choice okay. of athletics to grip it off, or I, I would even allow acrobatics for this one. I'm pretty hurt, but I don't think there's anything I can do, even if I get away. Um, I could... Mm, so I could disengage. I could step of the wind it. Or I could just try and fight this thing. Or actually, if, it, if I push something away from me, would that break the grapple? If I could oh, push it yeah. five feet away from me. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, as my bonus action, then I'm going to try the same thing. Uh, this time you almost see like two pairs of these golden armored hands. Uh, very feminine with almost like orbs embedded into them, like metal skin. Sort of push outwards as if trying to break this thing off Juno. Um, and you, you, he, she would probably say something along the line of like... Ah, golden wisdom and then like this thing kind of like bursts out of her uh, so that's a strength saving throw uh, on its part DC 14 uh, I rolled a 19 
Okay, so it kind of like rebuffs off. Mm -hmm. um, in which case I will... Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's my bonus action. See, it's kind of I will... clamped on heart. Yeah, if I try and disengage, that's going to be my action, so I can't disengage. I will I will punch this thing, because I don't think, even if I use an action to break free, it's still going to be able to attack me, and I yeah. can't uh, dodge action now. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and punch this thing in the face. Nope, it's an 11. Terrible rolls. 11, yeah, it kind of just... I just, like, you hit, like, but does nothing. Yeah, you could hit against, like, the jaw, but you realize it yeah. is hardened bone. Okay. Uh, yeah. Lane? Cool. Okay. If he's fully, if Juno's fully grappled, can can we assist in, in yeah. the ungrappled? You can, you can make the check um, to, to pull it off. Okay. I'm yeah. terrible at that. Although so I will say it's an athletics be. check if you're, <laughs> yeah. if you're not the one I'm, trying to escape, it's an athletics check. Yeah. Um, okay. So what I would like to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to make sure that I have my correct things selected. I'm going to come around Eldred this mm -hmm. way. Actually, yeah, I'm going to go here. And um, as I try to drive my sword into this one okay. here, uh, I'm going to look at Eldred and I'm going to be like, Eldred, do no. And then I'm going to stab. Okay. Stab. 24. 24 hits. Yes. Okay. Shitty. Only seven. Uh, yeah, the sneak attack wasn't too high, but the uh, uh, it looks hurt, though. You managed to stab it, and uh, this one's kind of clamped onto Eldred still, so you've kind of just stabbed it from behind. Because the eyes start looking down at itself as it sees, like, blood just spurting out the side of it. All right, anything else? Uh, no. That is it. Will it be? I'm going to fucking try to kill this thing, because I only have seven <laughs> HP, gang. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a nat 20. Okay. Oh! Baby levels. Uh, that's 15 bludgeoning damage. Hell yeah, dude. Not only do you kill it, I mean, you overkill it. But one of the things with nat 20s against these creatures, um, they have the curse of Grendel in them. So when you hit it with the arrow, it's so like you just strike straight into a joint. You see one of its arms just get torn off to the side. Almost oh, like it's just ripped by the force. Flings into the side. All the blood starts pouring out. This creature drops down dead. All right, and <laughs> the Wilby's going to look over at this one, and the archer above him is going to shoot at it for a 12th. Oh, so it, baby. Uh, yeah, no, that misses. That's it for me. I'm going to move over here. Okay. On the Grenland's turn, uh, this one, because it's grappled to uh, you, Eldred, it's actually going to stab at um, Lena to the side with the short sword i'm rolling really high i'm sorry 21 to hit fuck off eight points of slashing damage i also rolled max on the damage great cool i'm so excited for you i feel like i'm sorry look i'm, really I'm happy. sorry no, I'm how really much happy slashing for damage eight. eight so one d6 Real plus two and i rolled the max yeah. about three times great. In this fight. congratulations <laughs> no, I'm not, it's not me gloating. I'm just saying I didn't. I, these things aren't ever tuned. Oh, They're man. like goblin levels. It level. feels so bad because I could have. I could have been doing a lot more healing for this fight, but I didn't think we'd take so much That's damage. Yeah. yeah, well, it happens. Um, it happens. Yeah, man. eight points of slashing, and I think that was the last one of the Grenlings. So, Eldred, it is your turn. Uh, and I am grappled. You can um, move at half your speed with these grapples. Only the big one. Holds drag it. Yeah, you're basically dragging it along the ground. You're All right, beastie. I'll drag it. I'm going to crawl slowly up onto the table and just drag it behind me yeah. up onto the table and um, put a hand on Juno's shoulder and uh, whisper some spooky words. Oh. And um, ghostly forms are going to spiral out of my hands slowly, but they turn from this this uh translucent blue to like green and then gold and they just sort of stitch your wounds back together nice i will take it judo just freezes like <laughs> I, I think like you see like there is like this kind of like like she arches her back like something cold's just grabbed her kind of oh thing. yeah it's very cold um nine healing yeah. that's yeah. your healing that's great oh exceedingly i creepy. i will take that <laughs> that's great healing <sighs> Yes, 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 thank you. Uh, 
Yeah, it definitely feels like ice just down your back. Yeah, and th th there's like definitely like wide, very scared eyes, <laughs> but also grateful <laughs> look on the uh, expression. Draven, it's your turn. Um, are there anchors of ale within reach? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I grab one mm -hmm. and uh, I pour it out and I say aloud, oh, okay. allow me to borrow this power that you've gifted me this one time. And I'm going to fire an Eldritch Blast at the uh, Grindling that's attached to Juno. Oh. But I'm going to first uh, use a bonus action to move my Hex to that one. Yep. And then Raven is going to put his arm out and a glow that goes from gold to red to almost a luminous void, which is an oxymoron. But think of like a black hole that has yeah, no, a bit yeah, of yeah. light emanating from it and okay. then shooting out towards this creature. Awesome. awesome. Uh, that's a 10. That is not going to hit. You just see things like all these amazing descriptions, and then the dice <laughs> are like, no. no you see it hard. flings over the creature, hits into the fish on the table, and it <laughs> just splatters everywhere. The massive kind of yeah, fish that's laid out for the king. Just you just implodes. not like alcohol. I don't understand. You said this would work when. I'm going to talk later. <laughs> Tosses the tanker to the side. Not getting closer. Not. That's my turn. The Grinling Big Mouth unhooks its jaw away from your arm and then is going to go for... Actually, I've got to roll one sec just to see if it gets its ability back. It does not. Uh, it's going to go ah. for two short sword slashes against you. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, that's fine. A 12 hey. and a 7. That is a miss. Both miss. Okay, you see it kind of brings it back. You just... Move side to side, the adrenaline kicking in now. Yeah, maybe I imagine turn. almost like kicking up a piece of like this wood, like she kind of like stomps mm. on it and it flips up and then catches one of the blades. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see it go and kind of carves straight into the blade, it pulls yeah. it back out. Yeah. Badass. Okay. Fucking Your turn. style, dude. Okay, yeah, so like Juno is just like, she kind of cracks her neck a little bit and like there's like blood coming out of her nose and she just wipes it and it's like, okay, now let's get serious. And then she's going to go in and I'm going to potentially do two attacks, but I'm going to see how the first one goes. Go uh, for it. I will also scoot round, keeping within threatened range, but just to create Kick a bit of distance. Kick the table around it, yeah. Um, yeah, in fact, actually, I know that advantage isn't going to give me loads of advantage, but I'm going to create some space if other people want to come in and mm -hmm. attack this thing. Um, so... Hey, 18 to hit. 18 hits. Uh, so then I can click this. Only three points of damage. Oh, fucking okay. D4, I love it. One every, every point time. Every point of damage. <laughs> every point of damage. And then um, just because I don't want to take any more damage, I'm actually going to use my bonus action to um, use the dodge action. I'm going to use the uh, patient defense. Patient defense, got it. So as a bonus action, I'm going to take dodge. Awesome. So any attacks have disadvantage against me. Awesome. Okay. Lena. Cool. I'm gonna stab the little guy right next to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna look at him again. Yeah, he's like I'm almost fucking... like half prone yeah. against the table. Just like, <laughs> just like trying to bite in, like an angry and as little I dog. Stab him. Yeah, he's, he's like, oh, that's terrible. I'm not gonna stab a dog. Just... <laughs> no, okay, sorry. An angry little, <laughs> I don't know, rat. I don't know. An angry little. What do you hate? Grendling. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll go back to the, the fantasy. Off, and then I'm gonna stab. Okay. So, uh, that is. 15? 15 hits? Question mark. Yeah, dude, it does. 14? Question mark. 14 it's points of damage and overkill. Nice. Just like jam it straight into it. And it lies dead. Oh. Its mouth opens up and it lulls. You just kind of get the sense of relief from behind you, Brizzy. Okay. <sighs> Anything else? And I'm going to kind of uh, roll my shoulders a little bit and I'm going to look towards the one that's left and then realize that I'm at half health and just <laughs> stay where I'm at. <laughs> what? I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> Willoughby. Willoughby uh, moves to be over here on the steps. Points okay. at this here, this here big one mm -hmm. that is still alive. And you're going to see a bow, the, the one that he had shown the group before kind of grow out of his hand. He's going to point an almost sort of arrow, but it's glowing with a sort of white light this time. He's going to fire a guiding bolt 
at mm. the yeah the monster for Ooh, a 19 to hit. 19 hits Four, yes 13 oh, radiant oh, what a row oh. what a row okay nice i forget got him both so much damage earlier as well the uh yeah you Big hits spell. with the light and you see this emanating green glow giving yourself advantage for your bonus attack which is helpful because I'm also going to shoot at him with archer form mm -hmm. at now advanced. Hey. So that's a 26 to hit. That hit. Oh, 26 and 25 on the advantage. Ludicrous. <laughs> or another seven radiant damage. Another seven radiant damage. It's already looking hurt. You just struck it with this kind of one bolt, emanated it, and the arrow struck two, causing blood just to spurt all across the table to the side. It's hurt. <laughs> I've been I've been juggling with this idea of whether or not Willby is ever very keenly aware of his own physical state because he can't feel pain properly. <laughs> so I'm not sure if he would move, knowing that he only has seven HP left to work with. I think he would stay yeah. right here. I love how we're all just like uh, oh. the well, danger of level two. It's fast. Yeah. Eldritch, top of the round. Uh, feeling the the weight disappear from my arm, I sort of go from my sort of crouched position on the table and launch myself up and jump and yeah. forward towards this thing and mid-air I'm unhooking the torch from my waist and I swing it behind me with the momentum and mid-swing it sort of lights it lights oh, with sick. this magical fire and uh, I'm going to try to crash it down on his head go for it 15. It is just under. You see, it oh, oh, manages just to bring one, its it? shield up. And you hear it crank and the fire can illuminate. <laughs> and for a second, you just see its eye peering through the hole and you see its grin. And it lowers it. Heck yeah. And it lowers it down and holds its sword ready. Then I'll just land in front of it and the light sort of sputters out as I land. Cool. Drive it. I don't love anything that's happening over there. <laughs> it's saying real weird stuff. So Draven picks up another tankard, but this one he's drinking and he's just kind of kind of just like <laughs> resolve whatever, fine. And fires another Jaldric Blast, carrying a bit less this time. Um, 14. It just managed to move to the side, slams in the back again. You know what this deal we made it was bullshit i hope you know that <laughs> it's kind of like uh, peers around <laughs> holds its shield ready face is gross and draven literally like this point so resolved to failure just starts yeah. eating at the table <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fair enough it is going to Take a strike against you, Eldred, first. A 10 misses. No. It's going to try again. Seven. It just it's clings yeah, against your shield get twice. Get out of here. You're not the only one with a shield. Yeah. Juno. This thing's looking pretty beaten up now, right? Yeah, it's it's fairly hurt, yeah. All right. I'm just... No, no, no fuss. It's just launching in with some fists. Go for it. Um, 17. Hits. Three points, another one on that D4. I love it. It is. Uh, it is and then we're going to bonus action martial arts. I'm like, Go for it. Yep, bonus action martial arts, do another unarmed strike. Sounds good. Ah, oh, seven. I just managed to block it. <laughs> it's wheezing, yep. though. I feel like this area is just bad for the Messagians. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, you we, guys are getting rid of it. Yeah. yeah, it might be mean, further away from your gods. <laughs> Oh, the other thing is, is like I would say, like anybody watching Juno, like she definitely has like a style of fighting. But anybody who's an, like more experienced warrior, like this looks like maybe the first time she's like been in this kind of mm. life or death fight. Like when she got stabbed up, she looked pretty, pretty like scared. Um, it looks like she knows how to do it, but this is maybe the first time she's been in a life or death situation. So yes, yeah. how I'm gonna justify the bad rolls it makes sense for me. <laughs> so uh, yeah. that's me, Dom. I mean, you punch yeah. him across the jaw once, and you see it kind of. It is looking hurt. Really, really hurt now. Lena. Uh, I DM'd you a question. Okay. Give me two seconds to read. Secrets. Sorry. <laughs> Secrets. Uh... <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good to know. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to gingerly step over 
the stuff on the table because I don't want to knock over any booze. I'm going to be careful to do that. Okay. And uh, I'm going to throw a dagger at this dude. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's all we'll do. We're going to throw okay. a dagger. Nope. We're going to miss with a dagger because we, ro we rolled an eight. <sighs> sure. Uh I was being Word of advice for rogues, something you can, you can think about in future as well. Uh, you can use your bonus action to take the... Um, I'm forgetting the name of it, the prepared shot. It basically gives it's, you advantage. It's, it's, oh, yeah. shit. Steady aim. I forgot steady that's, that's the one. Yeah, steady aim. Like to level three. Oh, it's only at oh, level yeah. three? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's level three. Well, Thanks, future, Joe. Good. Forget my hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. She knew. It's She's just not ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Soon, soon. You worked out. It's fine. I'm uh, not... Steady in my soul yet. Can't do it yet. Will it be? Then I'd just say fuck. And... <laughs> How hurt does this Grendel look? Oh, yeah. It's it's fucked up. It's bleeding all over. I mean, it's hard to tell when it's bleeding because it's blood is literally the color of its skin. Um, but it's... Uh, it, it's... Is it like kind of like hunched? Yeah, and like, it's yeah. hunched. It's yeah. kind of shaking. You see the shield shaking. It kind of blocks the dagger of the shield. Now it's kind of focuses towards Lena right now. Does it look like it's melting if it's like the same color? Yeah, it, yeah, it would look like candle wax kind of dripping down. Oh, weird. weird. Does it <laughs> seem like this is the end of the fight, or are there more of these possibly coming? Um, I'll let you do a bonus action perception check. That's just kind of a general awareness. Uh, sure, I'll bonus action perception check. Ten. I'm not percepting right now. It's hard to tell from the <laughs> clashing, percepting. shouting, people kind of giving quips and whatnot. But it seems like, I mean, a good <laughs> 30 or 40 so seconds. Stops, I mean, you know, it's everything added <laughs> to the too audio. Many quips in here. <laughs> um, 40 seconds have gone by and no more have come through the ground, so. All right, I'm going to guiding bolt it again, 15 to hit. Oh, 15 just misses. That's it for me. Bring up a shield. Back. It's kind of got this last <laughs> moment of just standing against you guys, <laughs> holding on to like <laughs> Eldred. Is it, it's, it's not doing something? Uh, it can't right now. It's not a turn yet. It goes you, Draven, it. Oh, me. it's at, it's at 15. Got yeah, it, yeah, the uh, normal grand um, was at um, 20. You're right, right. All right. Uh, okay, I'm just frustrated. It's got its shield up above its head, so I'm going to take my torch and swing it around myself, just 360 turn around and try to uh, just punk right across. 360, no um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No. Got that momentum. Three. No. You should have scoped. Three. No. Oh. Yeah. You guys all missed it. It moves to the, the side. It's, it's just <laughs> last moment of its life holding on to anything. I was this one guy. cast fairy fire on this fucking thing, but I was like, <laughs> it's got such low health. No, we got yeah, it. Yeah, it's so <laughs> yeah. injured right now. Um, <laughs> Draven. <laughs> all right. Uh, what's something that's small and rock shaped? near me anything a dinner roll is there an old dinner roll sure there's, there's plenty of old right. very stale dinner rolls i have an old dinner roll and i'm going to bonus action cast magic stone on it okay. <laughs> and throw it at the grendling okay i take a bite it is hard and disgusting i hate this and just <laughs> chuck it at the grendling go for this it, is gonna kill it. Come i on. Yeah, i yeah. hope Come on. Uh, after all the cool moves good. I believe. 22! 22 hits. Tell me, man. Uh, so that yeah, is. Come on. bludgeoning plus six necrotic because of. Come on! X. Yeah. yeah. Did she... <laughs> Joe, I think Joe's just trying to figure out in his head. He's like, all right, well, okay. Same with the dinner roll. Uh, did you roll the d6? That was the extra six, which made it a ten. Oh, oh it didn't hear. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, do you want to describe how you kill it? <laughs> yeah, With your you bread do. roll, your Please. necrotic bread roll. Please. Even picks up the bread roll. Uh, this hurts. Just so tired of this thing, and looks over his shoulder for a moment, and there is a hooded, cloaked figure. Fine, and he chucks the bread roll with a horrifying force and wants to send it like into its mouth and just like through the other side <laughs> yeah Shit. it's kind of got his mouth open breathing heavy and suddenly 
right in front of you, Eldridge. You see, it's almost like rock-shaped item goes straight through the mouth, burst at the back. It drops its shield blade and it fills the back of its head. And it turns to look towards you, Draven, once and then collapses to the back of the ground. Dead. Genius. Out of initiative. Is that... Is that all of them? I pick up a tankard. <laughs> I take a drink. It felt like it was all of them. <clears throat> it wasn't too bad. Was uh, Oh, you Volder... all look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's blood point. Uh, was Brulder... Brulder was taken down. Yeah. Like, like he, he's gone. Like, yeah. he, it wasn't You like guys are pretty high up as well, like... so that thing would have been climbing yeah. on the back of the wall and just torn it straight through. Right, okay. It's all blood and stuff kind of scrape against the side of the splinters. Uh, 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 Eldred, wasn't it? Um, thank you, thank yeah. you for what you did. I, I, I was very hurt. Um, is everyone else all right? I, I, are you? Uh, and better. I, yes, I, I think that. Um, I'm gonna pick up my dagger. <clears throat> what were those things? Uh, are those from Asgard? Oh, I've never seen anything like them. Have we? Are we aware them? of these? Yeah. Um. How much time have you spent around the fen? Oh, well, a lot, right? Maybe. You come from a little further away than that. So it just depends how far you've traveled. Um, a bit, I guess, for... Then I would say go ahead and roll a, a nature check. 13? Mm-mm. 10. Considering it's not really... Uh, they're not that common. I'd say you'd you'd have maybe heard tales of these kind of cretinous creatures that roam the swamps <clears throat> with skin as red as blood. Probably don't know what they are, probably don't know where they came from, but one of the monsters that just kind of roams around attacking travelers sometimes in the fen. Not really so much around here. Um, don't <sighs> know much about them. And what about that that big claw? That that wasn't one of them, was it? That that was something else. It was like the one that the the king was showing off uh, today. Yeah. Hey, well, I don't I don't know. I mean, on the bright side, this place hasn't burned to the ground yet. True. <laughs> That's no, true. but tankard. that woman's beloved is. Oh, I point down. <laughs> We should certainly leave. I definitely think yes. that would be wise. You hear the rushing of like footsteps, and then the doors a, swing open. Yeah. As uh, we were talking, Lena's going to look pretty closely at the dead Grundling right there, the the mm -hmm. leader. Um, she's gonna kind of examine him pretty closely, and uh, you notice that her eyes flicker Ooh. and they go all black and then they it's just like that and it's gone so if you were looking you saw it if you weren't looking you didn't see it okay. and then okay. she shrugs i'm gonna roll to see if i saw it sure go for it what perception yeah, check, perception check. Yeah. but you know it's like Way always I definitely <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> you saw it yeah with a 20 you definitely saw it too judo does he have anything? I, I'm gonna. I'll do a. You can do a little investigation check. Yeah. Um, searching through it, you'd you'd find its crude sword. That it's clearly um kind of shoddy metal, which has clearly been kind of scraped with <laughs> stones to try and sharpen it. Um, lots of kind of gaps and a little bit of corrosion on it. Uh, I just hold it up. Water. Souvenir. And I'll drop <laughs> it. <laughs> You hear the footsteps kind of coming towards the door. The door opens up, and you'd see coming through first is Threthic. Um, He's got his sword and his shield ready, uh, flanking him. About four or five guards come in, and then a couple more straight afterwards. No real time to put on helmets. One of them has like a helmet on and a little bit of armor. The others have kind of clearly come from the festival, holding like swords mm. or axes. They come in. Threthic, the, the son of Hrothgar, kind of said, I was going to say, this is the prince, isn't it? Yeah, the prince. He looks... 
and lowers it, his kind of sword. And I see you've dealt with them. Yeah. What were they? Nasty little shits. He turns around. You three, check the lower quarters. Make sure the other holes are clear as well. <clears throat> he kind of walks in, a couple of the guards flank him and goes, There's about a dozen or so more. Didn't expect. You dealt with all of these on your own? <clears throat> huh. Kind of slots his shield onto his back. And he puts his sword away into the sheath. Wipes kind of sweat from his brow. They are Grendlings. Spawns of Grendel. Hmm. Any of those come in a uh, larger size Points that you're very hole in wall. used to? He looks up and kind of notices the arms gone in the hole. <clears throat> like a moment of kind of panic over his face. As he realizes he put his father to bed. Oh, um. No. Uh, not, not like that at least. No? I was a I was a boy when Grendel was abound and on the descriptions not like that. The Grendlings were made of as the stories go, when a Beowulf tore the arm from Grendel and ran from these holes into the fen to die. Each droplet of blood it left behind grew and grew and became into a Grendling. They are its living blood. We so do with some of them. Yes. I don't mean to alarm you uh, or interrupt you, but something took that arm. The arm that your father was showing off, it it reached up and took it. Something big. Very large. Also, took something else. Yeah, real bad news on that <clears> one. <throat> Joe, may I insight to see if he seems surprised the arm was taken? Yeah. There's a 22. He looks genuine. Um, he looks a little bit confused. Um, a little bit, it's more disbelief than anything else. Kind of a refusal to believe it. Sincere sort of disbelief, yeah. okay. There is a problem. Uh, hold on, but you said there was a bigger one. Grinlings are not, they don't no. follow leaders per se. Usually maybe they come in groups of three. This was unusual as it is to have Nearly twenty. They sometimes harass our people in in the in the fen, but never, never in large groups. What do you mean there's a big one? The hole. You chant. <clears throat> Just you like the one that your father was showing off. Another problem. Something big. Busted in. Yes, you said this. Yes, and it killed Bruder. He kind of walks forward. In your hall. Took him. Rudu is dead. Well, perhaps, I mean, he, he could might still be, be alive, but he was taken pretty, alive. pretty. If he's alive, he is not in a good way and won't be for long. Yes. That is not good. No. Could, I know that Throod uh, threatened that any who harmed her beloved would, would meet a grisly end. Is there a way that we can divert her rage to this beast? Could we, could, uh, rather than her uh, taking retribution against this hall, if we tell her what has happened, if we direct it that this beast, this, maybe this Grendel has taken it, it would that, do you think that she might... <laughs> Leave the hall as it is. It is our only hope, I suppose. Unless we yeah. cut their throat. I... I smile. But we promise to do no harm to anyone under these halls. Anyone who is not shown hostility. It would be breaking our oaths and our word to, to kill her here, so our best bet is to and convince if... her otherwise. It's... My other question, well, I see things from the other side. <laughs> if you do not strike her first, if 
she cannot be convinced. She will not hesitate to commit violence in these halls, I feel. Uh, your code of honor, I do not think that she will uphold it. Uh, how much do your, how much does this honor, this, this oath matter to you? Are you willing to die for it? <laughs> Secure the rest of the halls. He says to the guards, they cannot leave. They turn. That's if sure? we even can do anything to her. I don't know how this, your dummy, your demigods here, I... the ones in Mesogaya are very hard to kill. Even if, even if we did, the odds are high that Thor would know that it happened here and connect the right. dots, and you certainly mm. don't want to upset him. I think that perhaps our best bet would be to convince her to go after this beast, right? That seems to be... That is the creature that has harmed her beloved, not anyone in this hall, if she's willing to believe us. I think you are correct. I think that if we were to do anything rash, he watches his men kind of exit the hall and close the doors behind them. It is likely we'd invoke the wrath of others. But she is short-tempered. She's currently passed out. Hmm. Could we go after think. Bruta? If he is alive, could we go after him? What you say is true. Grendel is a mighty force. I will have scouts go out hunting for it to try and locate it. Maybe there is a chance. But for now, perhaps we just tell her that it took him. Not that it killed him. Took him. That's true. We don't know if he is alive this or is dead. This is all we know, yes. Yes. That is a statement of fact, not a deception. Which is um, fine. It is difficult to say what we do. The festival goes on for another three days. For now, I'll order as many guards as I can. And maybe it wasn't Grendel. Maybe it was another beast. You see from the side door, you hear Hrothgar's voice. It was Grendel. He kind of hobbles in a little bit. He's wearing like a, a white kind of nightgown. Um, kind of loosely on him. Clearly, he just kind of got up from rest. And he walks in a little bit. <coughs> Coughs. His heretic kind of moves over to him. Father, you should be resting. <clears throat> I saw it from my window. I watched Grendel rush back northward at incredible speed. It was him. It was the one that okay. tormented my horse. I would never forget that beast. I will address it tomorrow. And now? He puts his arm onto his son's shoulder. Send word to Skagdare. Have them send soldiers down. Make sure that none of my men enjoy the festival no longer. Make sure they are armed and ready. I won't hear it secured. And he can eyes all of you. You look injured. You are free to use any hall. Any rooms to sleep. If you so need. This will be tomorrow's business. Tonight. I just thins his lips. Consider this a victory. Nasty, those Grendlings. Not many who get to live even from two of them, let alone how oh, the hell are many you just killed. And he turns and goes, <clears throat> Do I think you will help me? Of course, Father. He looks across the way again. Tomorrow's business. He helps his father kind of lead off out of the hall from the side room that leads off kind of to the rooms. Leaving all of you alone. Do we want to sleep here? How do, I, how do I look right now? I really can't. I can't feel anything, so... Uh, look, um... There's like hurt. some sap and some damaged it's, uh, parts of you. Excuse me, I'm just gonna... One of his arms falls off. Did you... Oh! oh. 
<laughs> I think at that, like, Juno just sits on the floor. Like, she yeah. just sees his arm fall off and she just, like, slumps to the floor. If you've lost an arm, that's how you look. You lost an Yeah, I was worried that was going to happen. Can you I'm curious if this will work, and I will uh, scramble up to you and sort of pick up your arm, and you once were human, you have a human soul in you, but your body is not in it. It's just, just muttering to myself, and it is in their story. And cast your wounds. <laughs> that's but that's you, you don't feel the cold. <laughs> good news. Yeah, right? That's fair. You yes, yes. Cold. Be glad that you don't. You can't feel how Ooh. cold that is. Only five healing. Uh, but there you go. It. Kind of like loosely is like attached. hanging on there. <laughs> yeah. Um, we don't have to stay. I, for one, we could just go. Definitely, am in agreement with her. We can stay. We can go. It does not matter. Sleep on the road. Ugh. Again. I do like a bed. I know. These holes in the ground, does it look like they're connected to tunnels? Um, go ahead and roll an investigation check. If we don't stay, Eldred, I'd like to check the, the market to see what we can pick up. Mm -hmm. Um, what did you roll, Gabe? 17. 17. You can kind of peer your head through them and you'd notice that these creatures are kind of capable of climbing up the walls and kind of digging themselves in. They use their jaws. You can see a bunch of bite marks to kind of gnaw their way through um, the wood. <clears throat> and it kind of all leads to just a bunch of holes, like almost like termite holes. On the other side and the outside of the buildings, so they clearly climbed up and kind of bit their way through and try to kind of attack any portion they could of the uh, of the hall. Um, they, you can see where the other ones were dead. Only less than were in your room, kind of overall more, but a larger portion of people fought friendlings downstairs. Some of them called up to get to your hall as well. So uh, it seems this is where they came in, just on the outside of the walls. If you want to leave, Herod. You'll need to leave immediately. Um, remember, Hrethek and his father, they sent uh, their people to secure the gates. Uh, there will be guards. Uh, I'm not sure that they will be keen to let you leave um, whilst they are sorting this out. So if you want to go, I think that it would be best to go immediately. Um, we can if I may we can interject, fine. we should tell Thrud. Hmm. Here is my reason. I understand your caution, Willoughby. If we do not stake our involvement in this, she will surely blame us otherwise. If we are going when she wakes, you will her lover is missing. Guilty. We are guilty by omission. I don't even makes a good point. It's, I hate that it's a good point, is the thing I really do. <laughs> oh yes, uh, most it's realizations are us. unpleasant. <laughs> if we say her lover is missing, and we show her the Grendels, that is cause for anger outside of the hole. That's a point. These bodies, Joe, of the Grendlings, do they look like they're decomposing, or are they just sort of like, are, like are they, like, I'm, I have visions of them, like, melting away, or like, yeah, you know, good vanishing question. and stuff? They are, essentially, they're kind of almost like living blood vessels, so they continuously just kind of um, ooze out of the wounds that you've kind of given them, and because there's a lot mm. of slashing damage that happened, for the most part, they are kind of deflating. Uh, almost like, like a field They have, mode. like, bone jaws, right? Yeah. They got some bone I... in them as well, so it's this a weird. Scale. I don't think I'm ready to do that, but can maybe we keep some of these before their their bodies sort be. of melt away? That bucket. Would it be possible, Joe, to while they are technically dead, use cure wounds to mend their wounds, sure, sort yeah. of to plug up Organic the holes healing. that they're leaking? Out yeah. Of? And then yeah, I would scoop say that. him into a bucket. Yeah, you could, you could kind of, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like half health. We're like, let's cure wounds on this dead guy so we can keep him decomposing. Yeah, uh, I don't nope. mind that. 
Or many are we to... trying to help or save? Uh, help, Thrude. I'm interested to know what this... Uh, for me, I, I'm curious what this Grendel creature is. Why now? Why tonight? Why has it come back? Uh, on the How night that two been? gods... Why now? When two gods were meant to be here, when when this prophecy has been announced, there are too many mysteries here. There are There are too many unanswered questions. And I think that if we leave now, we'll never know the answers to them. And I'll be honest, this was... Uh, I have fought in uh, the arena and sparring many times. I, I've never killed and I've, I've never been hurt in such a way. I, I don't think I'm ready to... I don't think I'm capable of leaving tonight. I, I need to rest. I, my nerves are all shot to pieces. I, I'm sorry. If you want to go on without me, I understand. But I don't think I'm capable. I'm still kind of slowly sipping out of a tankard and I'll just nod. Also, if they attacked inside... Are just as likely to attack outside. Here, we'll hear them coming. <clears throat> I'm gonna look at Eldred. <laughs> it might be good to watch Thrude's face on <laughs> Teller. That is true. I can't stay. <laughs> I am also very curious about the two of you. You clearly have uh, business with these gods, and I've never seen magic like the type you have used. I I've seen uh, magicians Your before. magic seems quite similar, actually. You just have gold spirit? Where is what? the source of your spirit? That is not really magic, in a way, and no? I, I don't quite fully understand it myself. Uh, it's always sort of been with me since I was little. Um, uh, I, I've sort of un come to understand what it is, but it is not magic. It is more a manifestation of something. Um, <clears throat> and not a spell or a god or uh, things like that. Uh, it, it's hard to explain, um, but um, uh, perhaps I can tell you more and, and you can tell me more of... of <laughs> yeah. Forgive me, Eldred, your, your magic had the touch of the underworld about it, but I don't know if that is uh, an applicable thing in this realm. I, I don't... It was cold, like the dead. Yes, there is an under... We have our own underworld. We have hell. And we have spirits. We have dead. And I've always had a strong connection with souls living and otherwise. Thank you for using them to help and to kill those things, uh, at least. And uh, I'm very curious, Willoughby, <laughs> your, I don't know what it is you did, but I'm still very fascinated about your existence, the very nature of your soul. I, I'm very curious about how that all works, really. Well, a lot of, a lot of what I did right there was none of my own talent. That was courtesy of the tree. As I much as I hate it, it does have its uses in defensive maneuvers. So you can call upon the tree to aid you in that way? To an extent, yes. <laughs> Willoughby, I also Good. want to establish, Willoughby is going to go up to the uh, Grendel that we fought at the end that has the most, like, just different kind of magic <laughs> wounds and stuff to show that this thing fought hard mm -hmm. against us, and I'm going to cure some of its wounds just to keep it from decomposing yeah. as yeah, much get, as I can. Get rid of any of the leaks. Um, sure, yeah, you can kind of cure wounds and you see the, where the cut marks are kind of not up and clear. Uh, you could... Which one do you say you're doing it to? Uh, this was the one that I was, like, guiding, bolting. Yeah. And, okay. like, we were fighting at the very end. That one actually took a lot of bludgeoning damage anyway, so you... you one cast of it would close up all of the wounds. And, I'm going uh, to reach yeah. up before you cast it. Ah, ah, one second. I'm going to take my mace, my torch, and just sort of smash it onto its wrist and try to take off the hand. Why are you... What are you... Does it have bones? I'm, st I'm looking to the inside of it. Unlike its jaw, you can see that inside, um, it's coagulated blood that's hardened enough to kind of keep it together, and that's starting to soften and break apart. So it doesn't have bones uh. per se. Ugh. 
I'll throw it back down. What is it? Well, that complicates this. He's gonna try to squish the hand back on. <laughs> <laughs> and fix that part too. Yeah. <laughs> it makes Can it spell a little bit that? more complicated. Yeah. Can I... <laughs> when the hand is there, I'm just going to shake my head. <laughs> Can I take the hand and put it on the arm and try to mend it? <laughs> Corpse is an object, right? <laughs> Because we're still treating it like organic material, okay, <laughs> the mending wouldn't work. On another corpse, I'd probably do it, but right now this is okay. like made of pure, it was like just purely like bone, like, maybe yeah. or something. Yeah, I'll just People kind of shake kind of my hand off, like. <laughs> yes, I, I'm actually feeling quite violently ill uh, watching some of this. I thought it would help. Yeah, it was very thoughtful. Some of you are still injured. Should we find somewhere to sleep and maybe uh, tend to yeah. wounds yes, and bandages? And... Perhaps yes. uh, the rooms furthest from this hall. That is a very good idea, my dear. I agree. Uh, is also there? Are there any like bottles of like mead or like? Well, I'm grabbing absolutely. food. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like Juno grabs like, like a big bottle of something yeah. strong. Yeah, you can get any food, any drink you need. There's a copious amount of it that's just left out. Um, be kind of thrown away or eaten leftovers as tomorrow. Um, so you can grab whatever you need. Mead, meats, vegetables, oh, yeah. all sorts. Not the fish. Big old that ball. Was destroyed. No, the fish. <laughs> I mean, it's still good. It was just force damage. just kind of imploded it. So it's still... Might be vibrating with kind of a black mist, maybe. But uh, it's, well, it's, it's still good. Um, yeah. Grab whatever food you need and uh, and drink. And um, you can find yourself a room. To rest up. Do you think this... this these rooms are just going to be our only payment for sacrificing our lives for these holes. That is a good point. You, know you could ask the king. I'm the king it's seemed the to be. King! Right. They need to pay. I don't kill things for free. Oh, sometimes. It's much more difficult to get paid in post for doing something helpful. Mm. Right. You technically did. Sorry. Oh, by all means, go ahead. I was just going to say, you technically did do the killing for free. Yes, uh, I don't on the hope like of payment. to do the killing for free. Mm. It is fine. I'm sure if we ask the king, maybe to help uh, cover supplies for our next leg of the travel or something like that, I'm sure that they will be able to Business provide expenses. us something. Yeah. Or we could try to convince him that he could pay us to stay and talk to Tudor. That is also true. That's a good angle. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got a couple of angles to get us out of here quickly if we end up changing our mind about the whole talking thing. We can talk. If it is good, we help. If it is shit, we leave. Easy. I think it's best that if we do talk to Throod tomorrow, uh, I think the Raven and I should take a, a back seat in that conversation. She did mm -hmm. not seem to like Mesogaians. Uh, although, actually, she, she was quite Sandy. taken with Raven. Sorry. Like... Dra Draven is actually looking for any scraps of Bruder's clothing left on the ground. Oh, gonna bloodhound that? Ooh, a can I... Yeah. I? I'd like to help with that. Yeah, go ahead, do a roll with, uh, investigation with advantage. However, I want to help with it while casting starry form of the dragon on myself, which means no matter what my intelligence roll for investigation can't be below a 10. Oh, okay. Monster. I'm going to try to Fancy man. say 17 on my end. Uh, mine will be a <laughs> not as good. Don't even tell them. Don't tell them. I'm not, I don't worry. It just, it's it's <laughs> a under a 17. It'll be a 10, right? It would be a 10. Technically, it'd be a 10. Yeah, yeah it'd be a 10. It'd be a 10. Technically, it's two 10s. Yeah, it's two it's two a couple tens. of 10s. So That's no big deal. Um, that was to add up to a 20. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, as you're kind of searching around, Draven, you kind of look on, and you see just hanging from one of the inward splinters where you can clearly see his clothing got snagged is a reddened piece of black cloth. Okay, I'm going to retrieve that then. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. 
Um, I think I'm actually going to retire early. And Draven is bleeding badly, um, and profusely. And you see, it, you... you see trickles of blood leaking out of his armor. Do you need, Do you need bandaging or anything, Draven? Do you, before you sleep? No. And I pick up a Grendling. Are you sure? This will suffice. I have so many questions. So oh. many questions. You <laughs> eat those, huh? And Draven is actually going to head the direction that he saw Thrud uh, leaving to retire. And to confirm he is in the right place, he is going to use his divine sense to sense when there is a celestial in range. Okay. Um... I won't even make you, you roll you to you kind of track her, yeah. because technically, Thrude wasn't subtle in wherever she goes, so she, you can kind of see where spillage of drink, or where even like cracked flooring, um, or where for the most part, no one else has decided to take up um, uh, rest, and you'd find this kind of side room, um, through a door, kind of a lesser hall, she's kind of almost taken for herself, one of the smallest halls. Um, You'd hear kind of her distant snoring. Uh, Draven will knock on the door and then immediately kneel. You kneel, a silence. You look up, you'd see that she's lying, her feet up on the table. She's used the table as like a, a makeshift bed. She's got a kind of um, pulled like a rug skin off the ground, like a goat skin off the ground, kind of rolled it up and just resting the head on it. But she's lying kind of like in a deep slumber on the table. She's heavily intoxicated. Um. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Let's do it. It's, um. He's going to. Is there a door at all? Is there a. Sorry? Is there a door at all? Yeah, you're, you just came through one, yeah. I'm going to Eldritch Blast the door off. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and um, go ahead and do the attack roll for the Eldritch Blast. Um, it's going to hit the door regardless, but this will kind of almost just indicate how much noise it will make. 11. Okay, go ahead and do the damage. <laughs> the damage will be based on its kind of... Uh, Seven. Noise. You just hear this. <laughs> you said... I'm going to see if she wakes. I'll roll. Let's see. <laughs> I shout Bruder has been kidnapped. Eyes oh, flicker open. She sits up. You see, she's kind of groggy from it. Who said? You again. My, I come to beseech you. Improve my loyalty in something, for I may ask for a favor in the far future. These disgusting creatures, and I toss the Grendling in without looking up, have tainted this hole and taken or betrothed. They come here because you, your father, and the like be able to help in an issue that the Messagayan gods have created for me. Roll a persuasion check. Gladly. Sixteen. Sixteen. My brother is gone. I uh, so show good. his robes that are torn and probably covered in his own blood, I assume. She and at this point, Draven has not healed himself, so he is bleeding profusely. She leans off. You now see she kind of lifts the hammer to the side. And she starts dragging it behind her. You can hear the tum, 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 as it kind of slams against each of the wooden panels, scraping. She starts stepping towards you. And I am to believe that you did not kill him? If I did, 
You really think I would be so foolish to come before you, bleeding, battered, and broken, wielding proof of it? I may be a Messagian. I am not a fool. She looks down at the Grendley. Leans down, picks it up, and examines it. They let him die in these holes. Oh. The creature took him from the holes. As if it knew. She drops it. Roll an inside check. <laughs> Why? We'll see. 16, again. <laughs> her, her eyes look groggy for a moment. She leans up. Rubs the back of her neck, and you can see all up her neck are cracked plates, almost like veins under the skin, black ones going all across. But it looks like almost like just plates, a webbing almost going up her. She scratches it and looks at you a little bit groggily. I should. I should punish. I should punish. She drops immediately. Lay on hands. Lay on hands to try and cure poison or a disease if there is one afflicting her. Five points to do so. You can go ahead. Usually, any poison, you know. This was cleansed. And you see, it does stem it back a little bit, it causes some of it to stretch down, but it doesn't go. And she holds the mantle of her hammer. I don't feel good. Thrud, what is... What can I tell your father to make him trust me? Prove that I know... To prove that I am on your side. I wish to bargain with God. She attempts to stand, but claps about her knee. Oh, damn it. She wants to win a God's favor. I want to show your father... I am on your side. <laughs> All you have to do is help the war. Stop the guards on the other side. Break their plans. <sighs> kill their champions. Make my father enjoy this. Enjoy this. She leans on grabs her neck. And it collapses down into a comatose state. Breathing meekly, Thrude lies unconscious on the ground. What a shame. So we go ahead and take a five minute break. <laughs> As she leaves. You don't you don't get to be mad. <laughs> you don't get to be mad. Well, she's not dead, so that's like, important. That's it's true. fine. I'm just gonna take this stuff. It's fine. Guys. It's fine. It's fine. Well, don't worry about it, I'll be right back. Go and get yourself drinks and whatnot. We'll be back in five. Ooh. <laughs>
Okay. All right, let me bring I'm things fine. back up. Okay. Hello. 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 We back. We back. I know Gabe's AFK, but that's okay. Um, hello, welcome back. Um, but yes, for, for your notes, Rue dropped to the ground, seemingly poisoned. Whilst that's going what on, actually, shame. whilst because Draven's None in the same room, where are you, what are you all doing? Looking for my, a room, eating on the way. I would <sighs> definitely. <laughs> my character would take at least an hour break, uh, to sort of calm down and make sure all of his take a deep inspection of his body parts and make sure nothing else is about to fall mm -hmm. off, because that's just something he deals with since he can't physically feel problems. So. I would say that he takes a short rest personally. Okay. Uh, my character doesn't necessarily have to sleep at all. Mm. I can remain conscious, so yeah, I'd be I'd be taking a little a little breather and then probably going back to the hall to like take a look around a little bit more carefully. Uh, Maybe around like the detecting. outskirts around where the monster actually reached in, like on mm. the exterior, okay. stuff like that. Yeah. Outside, you'd see there's several soldiers kind of like walking around with torches out, checking the perimeter. Um, as you kind of go outside and you see, as it's built on the hill, you realize that Randall must have climbed up the hill, gone through the town, climbed up the hill and climbed up the side of the wall. You can see the scrapes across the side of it. You can see where it's kind of splintered and gone through. Um, a guard would kind of step over towards you and say, uh, Greetings, sir. Is everything okay? Just taking a look around. I was in the hall when the Grendel attacked. I'm kind of, I'm kind of an investigator of sorts. You see, I'm just going to take a look around. I mean, do you believe your words? Do you want to roll a persuasion or deception check? Uh, I, I mean, I'm investigating. I'll, I'll roll a check, but you're not gonna like what you see. That's a eight. Yep. <laughs> He looks at you and goes, It might not be wise to do so uh, without escort. Currently, we are. We have scouts that have said that Grendel has run all the way back to. We do believe it to be Grendel. I'm sorry to tell you this. All the way back to the Fen. It's likely that it's going to embed itself in there, and. Who knows? Maybe the king will have a bounce. Joe, so these Grendel, you said they like went through the town. Did they go under? Because you established they were like digging and stuff so at one point. Were they like they on they the north through wood? No one saw them. Coming. No. So so um, they north through wood, and if you would see across the kind of rooftops, you'd see that they kind of almost climbed up on them. And they rushed towards the hall. They were very directed. They didn't like cause any chaos outside of um, the main hall. They focused straight to get there. So you can see where they've kind of gnawed and pushed their way past. And you see the claw marks across the rooftops on the lower parts of the hill. Um, but they, they went straight for it. Okay. Uh, unless I see like a, like anything that would immediately catch my eye that isn't accurate to what this guy just told me. Mm -hmm. Like, can I roll an insight to see if this guy's like not really giving me the whole story because he thinks I'm like a civilian? Yeah. Uh, 25. A civilian. He's clearly holding back. He's clearly treating you like, you know, trying to lower the panic. Okay. <clears throat> well, I mean, escort away, friend. I have business here. You are free to join me if you'd like. I'll stay alongside you so that no more civilians are harmed this day. He stands next to you with his torch. All right, my Just character would at that point probably... At least to some extent, if there is like active, massive track marks of this giant one that came through here, mm -hmm. uh, my character would probably follow it uh, for at least an extent to try to get like an idea of its actual trajectory. Okay. Yeah. Um, go ahead and roll a survival check to kind of follow its tracks. Okay. Uh, I am going to, because I established I took a short rest, I have my wild shapes back. I'm going to activate mm -hmm. uh, Dragon Constellation again before I do this. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to start glowing extremely bright, probably to the discomfort of this guard next to me. Yeah. <laughs> and... So? Everything's fine. Told him, sir. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> <to 17. laughs> Uh, you'd be able to kind of track it through, following it, like, the kind of... You'd notice that the path that it took was direct. It didn't try and weave around or take any... It wasn't like a kind of a, uh, a searching for anything else. It was going straight for the hall. So you can kind of follow the houses around and look as it clearly leapt from these houses to the next ones. Until you get down the bottom of the hill. And you see across the ground various footsteps at first and drag marks. See the occasional just kind of where where wet mud has can be stepped in by these large kind of footprints the nails dug in heading all the way northward for miles it looks like um the path itself is direct there is no deviation at all this someone's is dog line. is uh in the town <laughs> barking in the direction it ran quiet that thing down <laughs> Sorry, it's sorry at first. <laughs> it is spooked. All right. Well, I mean, if it's going in a direct straight line outwards, I mean, to me, it looks like this thing had a, like, almost as if something was commanding it to do so. Amount of, you know, drive. Here, I'll start. After seeing that, I'll start heading back. I don't want to like I don't want to leave like the area of town too far. Okay. Um, the soldier walks back with you. Is that everything, sir? Yeah, that should be everything, unless there's anything you, you know, haven't been telling me up until now. Of course not, sir. Go and get your rest. Sweet tree. <laughs> Sleep tight. When uh, when he turns the corner for my character. Mm -hmm. Uh, nice. to like, I'm assuming go back to other guards to discuss mm -hmm. stuff going on. I'm going to wild shape into a rat, a little wooden okay. rat. Okay. A little like, you know, sort of like, uh, like the drust kind of thing mm -hmm. from like World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort yeah. of like that. It's a little bit more obvious, but you'd have to get close to. Yeah, and it's night. So it's, yeah, you're not really looking out for it. Okay. And I'm going to continue to follow him. You see, he walks over to another couple of guards and they look between each other. One of them. The earlier secure, there's no more glendings. The rest of them that came went straight back with the others. So it's true. Glendul walks again. Aye. Word has been spread that Rethik is saying that they're going to put up a mighty bounty for it. You bring that thing's head, it'll be rich. Right. It last time, didn't? Didn't they say it? I mean, it took the might of Beowulf. We bring enough of us. We can be prepared. This thing can die. If it just removed its arm last time. And he fought it naked, arm to arm. We'll have weapons. Anything. Right. What do we do in the meanwhile? As we're told. As soon as the bounty goes up, we go out first thing. For now, we just got the festival. I don't believe it's returning anyway. They kind of just start going muttering and split off to go and do some patrols together. All right, we'll be at that point after hearing that, we'll head back to the hall okay. to rest. What's Lena Juno and Elder doing? I think we would, or at least I would suggest uh, Lena and I spending a short rest in a room with food. <laughs> a good plan. A room as far away from the hall as possible with window, if there are windows. Yeah, you can definitely get a windowed room. And um, one of the guards would say to you as you kind of go past, if you can let us know that uh, you can have any room in the hall, Grendon kill us. I took a tankard with me and I just hold it up like cheers. Those ones have windows. I'm gonna notice them. I love a window. We love a good view. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The best. Smiles politely. <laughs> what about Juno? Going? Yeah, well, I think that, like, if Juno sees these two kind of going off, there is, like, that, um, 
you know when like clearly two people are like going off to do something and you're mm -hmm. like you don't know what to do and you kind of want to go with them but you don't want to intrude so she kind of like looks like watches them go and then is just sort of tries to play it cool and is like oh. okay uh, oh, I, have, and then, I have a question like, yeah if <laughs> did they even yelled juno's name from the hallway yeah don't you close enough to hear don't that? Bring me into your <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Juno's like, I no, have I can't. Yep. Right now. I want to avoid that hall. This you know the best thing about this is? Was Juno's wise words of, maybe the mess of guns will stand at the back, and they're going to be the only two yeah. to see this. Oh. Uh, yeah, you would hear it, right? <laughs> He's joking. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> On the quiet hall to one side, you hear the voice of Draven Shen. Okay, uh, I will glance back towards where the other two, where Eldred and, and Lane have just gone, hoping they might also come. Um, but I will, I will Wouldn't go. Would have heard I him would... yell too? Wait, how long were you stood outside waiting for them to pass by? Go ahead, you two uh, roll a perception like, check. It was just like, yeah, as a they moment. kind of split yeah. off, I just watched them kind of go kind of thing. You took him on perception. You go. No. 18. Um, oh, well, okay. Uh, seven. Lena, you'd hear it. Eldred. Huh? Did you hear that? No. <laughs> no. I'm gonna look. I assume we're now slightly apart from Juno. I'm just gonna mm. look at Juno. Yeah, I'm like. Yeah, I, I think you I'm have to like, like open the door. Making my way. Yeah, like I, uh, um, I, I'm making my way towards straight. You can see the damaged door, Juno, as you kind of come up. You see the kind of. It's, the it's definitely like he tried to put it back on and it did not work. Yeah. You just you just hear. Malaka, and then I will walk in the room. Okay, Juno, I need to be clear. I did not do this. I need that to be. Um. She rubs her face, uh, and I will immediately survey the scene. You see a She's lying dead. demigod, truth, lying down, breathing weakly. This poison has been halted by the lay on hands. But you can see the cracks and the kind of plated black veins up the neck. I'm not even going to ask you what you are doing here okay. now. Right now we have bigger problems, but that is a question I will be asking you later. That's fair. I'm pretty sure that Thurudur has been poisoned. I have temporarily stopped it. But we need to do something or else a god will die in this hall tonight. I cannot heal poison. We need to get the others, but... The only thing that she consumed as soon as she entered was the flagon. That was the only thing she consumed since she entered this place. It's the only source of the poison that could be possible. I don't I'm think unless sure somebody has a attacked her on the way here, but I don't think so. Was it provided by one of the brothers? The the flagon was here when we arrived. It, they were they were going to serve it to Thor and Ares, and then she came and drank it. Uh, Brood drank it as well. Do I do poison Thor? That would be my assumption, yes. Which means that it must either be Hrethik or Hrothgar. It must be. It can be only... They were the ones preparing this festival. Or someone else who is trying to make it look like they were. But right now we have to think about this poison. Um, I will go to uh, Thrudas and like start to look at these cracks and be like, you should go and fetch the others. F find um, uh, Eldred and, 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 and Lena and, and Willoughby and, and bring them here. I don't have magic. They have magic. Um, Gladly. But let me look around and let me try and take a th figure things out. Uh, it was just better for you to be the first because you are so astute as I have first I, met you. I don't think so, but sure. Um, That's why you were the best. Okay, I'll be back. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> It'll walk out the door and then like put it back on the wall. <sighs> as soon as you step outside, you'd see Lena and Eldred. I imagine Willoughby's probably coming back inside, right? Yeah. Can you find the tree? Can you find the tree? <laughs> and I brought food, by the way, and I'm just eating. <laughs> Get fed, find what? the. The, what is this? Find the find the tree mat. There's I, there's a lot. 
to explain to you. To break a door. <laughs> yes. Keep track of each other. Mm, yes, because you gave me the option to say yes. Because I make foolish choices when I'm gonna mend the intoxicated. Door. What? <laughs> so while they're doing that, like, yeah. And I would like a rest. What is this? What is happening? Thruder is unconscious. Down. Someone has tried to poison Thruder. <laughs> Find the tree man. Yeah, I get it. Whatever. Find the tree man. He said something about investigating, and he doesn't. Maybe he's good at it. I don't know. But, but I don't even know where he went. I went, but he probably I... won't be hard to find. Draven. Yes. Calm down. I'm, I, I came to drink her blood, and now she's poisoned, and I'm worried that if I try to drink it, it will poison me. Went. Okay. I'm gonna turn her back around down the hallway and look and see if I see Willoughby. Just as you're doing that. Juno, what do you do? So I think that the first thing would be, like, not investigation like a detective would but it's like trying to like look at these plates like try and see if there is anything um like the nature of the poison or like how it's affecting her and things like that like i want to try and get a a, a, a bead on <clears throat> what is happening like i've just had draven's like panic thing um so like having a look at these you said that there were plates like down her neck like i'll literally like yeah pull it's, the it's almost shirt, like a plate kind of pattern yeah when you pull the shirt up you can see there's several more of them um, it's kind of skirted down her entire body. Um, is it is it like a certain color? Is it so black it's like veins that plate. kind of? It's it's more caused. Um, it's like these kind of black veins which are raised in the skin to create almost like a right. plate effect. Um, and it's it, 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 it so it's all her skin still with the veins kind of pushing through. Um, it's more the pattern. Go ahead and do a medicine a wisdom medicine check to kind of determine the nature of this. 23. Yeah. That's what Juno's lucky. Juno's the goat. When... Has Juno read up much about kind of Norse ingredients, Norse kind of culture and um, and the gods? She, she's definitely had some teachings. Like, she had a yeah. fairly... Or, uh, Juno's had... Uh, yeah, I've had a, a very in-depth education at that academia. Um, obviously, it is Mesogayan, but they have works. They have, yeah, you know, copies years. of of tales and things from all over um, both Asgard and, and Mesogaya. So she definitely has had an education in a broad range of subjects as relevant to successful skill checks. <laughs> With that medicine check, then, she would know this to be Eitrop. That's E-I-T-R-D-R-O-P. I Sorry, I my brain just... I'll link it. I'll link it. I-T... No, sorry. E-I-T-R. Then drop. E-I-T-R. Drop. Yeah. I-T drop. I-T drop. Okay. You know this condition is known to be the quakes. The quakes. Or earth quakes. As it makes your skin yeah. look like kind of plates broken that are broken and, and, and cracking. Yeah. It is the poison that Thor is most fearful of. The same poison that Jormungandr is able to produce. The same poison that Ymir, the one that they built the world out of, produced. It is an extremely rare poison. Only really known about in tales because of Thor's kind of paranoia to it. Mm -hmm. Whoever got hold of this this was this was to kill Thor, basically. This is a god-killing poison. Like, if I were to use, like, you know, and again, I'm, I, I don't want to mechanicize the roleplay, but in this is Juno's thinking. Mm -hmm. Her wisdom, like her, like kind of logical, philosophical brain, is Thor was coming here. This is something that is designed to kill Thor. Uh, it is the only thing that that she saw through the drink. It was the only thing that she saw her consume while she was here. And that, that's the kind of connection that's being made there. Um, if Thor, if this is designed, would this kill Thor, this poison in the tales? Does this like, would this be able to kill Thor? It's it meant to be Thor's bane. Yeah. Right. So, and I'm assuming then that with, if, if I think about it, would the effect on a demigod, you know, or like his daughter who isn't a full divinity, right? This would be even more severe. Like this would kill quickly. Yep. Certainly could. All right. Okay. 
I will uh, get up having sort of like thought about that and realized it. Um, and is this like, this is an ingested poison or is this like uh, yeah. something that like goes through the blood? Yeah. All right, this is crazy, Joe. This is crazy. Could I, this is a poison in her stomach, right? If this is an ingested poison, it might like, there must be like something in her system that's like causing it or like, you know, that's there. She's quite big, right? Like she's mm -hmm. a massive kind of like bigger, much bigger than Juno and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's a big lady. She's like practically half giant. So with my dialogus, I'm not able to fully manifest it, but I can manifest a, a hand mm -hmm. <laughs> with the telekinetic feet. If I open her mouth, could I, in theory, try and use that, you know, alter the shape of the, the Golden Wisdom's hand to, like, make it thin enough to maybe try and pull or, like, force her stomach to, like, eject, like, vomit up as much of the poison as possible? Dialogue is Heimlich. So yeah. <laughs> this is, like, almost like an internal, like, gut punch to try and, make, mm. like, throw as much of it up as I can. What you can do is you can try and cause her to, to cough up you would know that this yeah. poison kind of almost multiplies and and kind of constantly kind of manifests itself and 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 duplicates and duplicates. You'd be able to get rid of some of the poison, and if you did that, it might slow it down. It would slow it down. So if you successfully yeah, do this, I yeah. would say it gives her an extra day. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, because like I the don't way... have the same problem with the gods that these guys do, yeah. so I'm like, I think I should save this one because like she's in know... trouble and like about kind of godly poisons and and the world of Mesogaia and Midgard mm. is that a lot of things follow fables and poetry to defeat sometimes to defeat like to kill a certain monster you need to go through a ridiculous kind of poetic journey the mm -hmm. same thing kind of goes yeah, with poisons where yeah essentially yeah a poison like this has probably got a tail attached to it to rid the poison okay. entirely you can definitely so if we learn more means. about the tail. I'm going to crack open the door and just slide my head in. See what's going on. So you probably see it as like you see this like golden hand like like reach into through this like throat and at the same time Juno punches her in the stomach like, and is like what trying to the What are you doing? Just just comes out. I I had, I had no I, idea. What are they Maybe have set there? like something up to catch the goop as well, so mm -hmm. it doesn't just land on the floor. Like <laughs> yeah. set something up that it kind of catches it. Push open the door. Get in, get in. You need to come what? inside now, all what of you. What is happening? Is Willoughby, where, where is Willoughby? He oh, might know more happening. about this. Have I arrived yet, Joe? Yeah, uh, outside. Lena would have seen you coming in. Yeah. I'm just like. What? 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 Is Can you just come now? You come now? She what looks really. She's like still some distance rough. away from you. Like, get, like, bring him in, bring him in. You're making like in. physical mo motions, and like Willoughby like doesn't really understand. Hurry, 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 hurry. What did the lock the door in. when we're all in? Keep pointing at the door, and then I go in. He, he notices through. What did you sickos do? I did not <laughs> think. I was not it's, even here. I should point out, me. Draven was the one first here doing God knows what with Can't prove her. That. However, you told <laughs> me I can prove that I was here. But More no importantly, the new year first when everyone else got here. She was poisoned. There was a poison this waiting This is excellent in this news. Blanket. No, it is not. Is it? I no, it is not. It's Why not is this proper. excellent news? Why? Why do you want this god? Why do you because want this god? Because Thor sucks, and if his daughter is dead, he deserves it. She is not her father. Also, that will cause me. a lot of problems uh, for, for us who are well. present. Why? This this poison that has been used, it is um, a teardrop. It, it is told in a tale. It, it is Thor's bane. It, it was from the serpent Jormanger. You, you know this as, as guardians. I've read this. I've read in this in your tales. Yes. Um, the, the poison, the, the, the black veins, the plates, the quakes, it, it, it is mentioned in the tales. Um, it okay. is extreme. Somebody, this, was, this was placed here intentionally to kill Thor. And who knows? Maybe it would have killed Ares too. Uh, who knows? Uh, but somebody is here is is engineering this, Why and is this I feel our problem. You I guess it isn't. Very, very I, nice. I, Did she seem like a wonderful person to you? I well, can tell that that you care about things, which is quite nice and good. But why this one? Why is this our problem? We could just leave. 
You can. And I don't expect you to help. Whether or not this woman is a good woman or not, that is not for me to decide. I have not seen her life, I cannot judge her actions. What I can know is that she has been poisoned. I am able to help, at least somehow. Therefore, I feel it is my duty to do something. I'm not asking you to do anything else, but it seemed that you are connected to this. I thought you should at least know. Draven, you are involved in this. You Absolutely. are here. You are with me until the end, but... Oh. This is the I don't know about your Jormungan. thoughts. If this is the poison of Jormungandr, you're... <laughs> we can't... You're not going to be able to stop it. But we don't have to stop it. We just have to give her enough time to do so. We, no matter how oh. much you may oh, so hate. Okay. So you can extend her suffering? Yes, that. And ah. here, okay, look at it this way. If we can extend Not her much. suffering and we can give her enough time to live, she can go see her father and her father just can see her. Her, her father can see what could have happened to him, a threat or fear. Is that more enticing? Yes. So Pretty much so. You should have led with that. I'm gonna... It certainly be a good idea. None of you want to be on Thor's shit list, if it will. <laughs> well... Trust me. The other factor yeah? here is we are missing that, that, that somebody here tried to engineer this. This means that there is something at work beneath the scenes that we do not know. We do not know what repercussions those events will have. We do not know what that person intends. I, I don't know your gods. I don't know why the two of you have this dislike for your god. I certainly know that I have many reasons to dislike the gods of my home. I do know. But... Yes. There, is a, there is a possibility that... It is an assumption. If these Grendel creatures attack this day, and they manage to reach through the Dura's room and tear her to shreds, there would be no evidence of poison. I don't think that that was their intention. They seem to be focused on the hand. The, the smaller ones. They were I mean, very maybe. focused Probably not. on the hand. I it doesn't have to be related. Path. Is anything think... related to the gods unrelated? Do you truly believe in coincidence? No, I don't I believe do. in coincidence, but I don't believe that the Grendlings were here to kill Thruda. My I... belief is that somebody lured Grendel here. The flagon was set. The poison was ready. The, remember, Grendel didn't just take its hand. It took Brulda. It would have known that the Tilda would have, would, Thruda would have come after them. I think that there was something set up here, but uh, don't forget that uh, Thor was supposed to be here, not Throot. Thor was supposed to come here to drink the flagon. I think that maybe there may even be more than one ploy at work here, perhaps. Or maybe when they found out that it wasn't Thor coming, things were changed. Who knows? I, I don't know if we have the answers yet. There was meant to be Thor and Ares, and yes. then Ares, in we suppose, intended it to be Thor and a mortal. Assume the mortal would be killed. Thor drinks his fill. If this poison even affects mortals. That's no, true. but to, to, just to Thor. If, if Ares assumed that Thor would be here, then Ares is, I think, more likely to be able to get his hands on this poison than a mortal king. True. It's true. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I have... that we stay. Yes. I... What do you want to do? I don't know. Where's I've... the prophet? I... I have no magic to help extend her suffering. I've bought her about a day. I've managed to get her to choke up, uh, to cough up some of this poison. My point to the container that I put it in. I could try to punch her as well. Oh, yeah, we could definitely do that. Yeah, what if we all just punch her repeatedly? I don't think that will help. <laughs> again and again. But no. I appreciate that I'd there's try. something here you're trying to work out. Willoughby, please. I believe 
that perhaps the Grendel with I for the record, I departed the hall to investigate the actual path the Grendel took entering oh, yes. and leaving the area, and it was a uncannily straight line, almost as if something was driving it to approach the way it did. I think it would be wise if we want to find out who actually <laughs> why this all happened would be to actually find out what where the Grendels went, pursue them, if you actually want to find who did this. Well, <clears throat> for a price. Sure. I'm not. I'm not paying you. For the record, just well, to be clear, I am, I am not paying. Why you. would you no pay? Money. Well, you said we're for a price. To... There, was no one else, there was no one else <laughs> here to mean, ask, so I'm not for going to. No, we're not going to do that going for to charge free. Me. No, I'm not charging you. Also, you, you don't. How much money do you? I'm not going to charge. I don't you. need money. <laughs> I want to check <laughs> through this pocket. Need money. Let's maybe she's got money. Oh, okay, sure. Um, yeah, you'd find um. You'd find a, a kind of a, a, a curve, almost like bread cutting knife um, with a beautiful kind of golden handle that's turned around and in the design of a, a kind of a, a horn of a, of a goat. Um, the blade itself is almost silver. You'd also find one ruby worth about 80 gold. Oh my God. Two opals worth 50 gold each. And a single sapphire worth about 100 gold. Bored. She carries no actual gold. Just a few gems. Are you doing this stealthily or blatantly? I'm doing it blatantly. I'm taking everything that she's got on her and putting it I into my satchel. To the bounties of the demigod. Of her. This is more likely to buy favor. I'm also I thought sure you were trying to not get on their bad side. She's going to wake up and see you taking that house. I'm going to look. I don't, don't think know she's if she's going, going to wake up. Wake up. Apparently, think... you think that's the hope. That's the hope. Okay, so I'm going to throw this out here, assuming that uh, that we points to Eldred stay. Um, <clears throat> perhaps what we should not do is stand right here in her room right now and we should go somewhere else yes i mean i i can't do any more like you said i don't i don't think any of us here have the power to I, stop this I, i've I, done everything i can mainly called help to ask to move her to another room honestly because it not be interesting to at least see who comes to her room i i can simply stay watch in here I don't need to sleep. Like ever? No. Weird. You do then. I just <sighs> sit here. You just are awake all the all time. All the time. Yep. Oh. Miserable. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to finish eating. Eldred and I are going to get some sleep. Yes, I think that that is something we all need, and I'll look at Draven when I say that. Uh, what? Oh, just rub it in, rub it all in. <laughs> My apologies, Willoughby, you're correct. We don't all need it. Um, yes, let's get some sleep, and uh, this is going to vex me, but there's nothing I can do now. I need to think. Hmm. Okay. So you're going to go off to find rooms to rest for the night? Yeah. Willoughby will stay. In. Mm. You're doing like a sentence. I think I'd try. If Willoughby's going to stay in this room, I'll maybe try and find a room nearby in case yeah. he needs, like, in case, like, something does happen and he needs shouts for help or something, I'll try and stay nearby. Yeah. Uh, before everyone leaves, I ask the entire group do we know how the poison of Jormundur affects mortals? <laughs> yeah. Is that I, something gone? I actually was going to ask because Willoughby was at ground zero when Yggdrasil was poisoned, so he may have some insight on poisons and stuff like that. Yeah. Just from being there when, like, the worst mm -hmm. poisoning in recent memory happened. Also, if Thor hates it, I might kind of... I feel like it's not going to do any favors, but sure. You can go for it. Uh, do you want to roll, like, a... What are you trying to roll to see what kind of 
how to deal with the poison or i'm trying to see if i basically wouldn't see is it a bad idea if i try to suck it out and spit it out yes that is, is a terrible I mean, idea yeah can i like can i roll medicine to kind of give him input on that if he's asking yeah. the group about it yeah i would not recommend you letting it touch I am going to letting it <laughs> before I before I investigate them. I'm going to cast guidance on myself to try to make sure I don't <laughs> accidentally encourage Draven killing himself on poison. Hit that second episode. Yeah, Let's go. Seems hey, baby. go for it. Uh, that's uh, 21 for me. Oh, you know that this is a god killer. This this has the potential to take down Thor, one of the mightiest of the gods. For mortals to consume the blood, um, you would also know that it. it the the kind of the black goop essentially that's coming out of it isn't necessarily the poison it's more the result of the poison um right. so it's not you can't really spread you can't then go and manufacture a lot of the uh, the the poison afterwards but that alone would be pretty rancid probably make you extremely sick and the majority of mortals would likely die from digesting it <laughs> Well, that's chance. the off the uh, the, the yeah. byproduct <laughs> yeah not even the poison the actual poison itself you know that if a mortal was to consume it they'd probably die within three to five seconds <laughs> i wouldn't touch anything coming out of anywhere around so me. i can't drink I any of her blood is what you're saying is that what you were they said you came in you were here first is that what you were trying to do yes why you imagine what that would taste like? Yeah, blood. It would I taste noticed like you were also blood. E eating one of those little little things in the in the feast hall as well. Is that just something you do? Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right. Do you require Everyone it for sustenance, or you just enjoy it? Bit of column A, column B. Okay. If a mortal drank the poison, they would die quickly, Willoughby. That's what you're saying, yes? Extremely quickly, yes. This is... Ruda drank from the flagon. The big one, the tall one. Thud scooped some into his mouth. I remember seeing oh, yes, it. It was yes, very, yes. It's is very he, odd to see a woman a scooping good liquid. Maybe and it was not was taken. I like full on normal. Mortal. Human. I believe so. I don't know. I don't. I, is he? Yes, I don't. Is M -M well, all the more reason that we may need to find that miserable bastard. <laughs> is there any? Just before we leave this room, Joe, mm -hmm. she, I remember that she she took a flagon with her when she left. Which I think I can't remember if it was the last of the dregs of the actual big flagon. Are there any other liquids in this room? Does it look like there's like a mead horn or like any extra drinks that of like she's been she drank after she got in here? Um, it looks like she passed out pretty quickly after getting in here. Okay. Uh, the other like any of the other mead is kind of been knocked over. Um, okay. She mostly just brought with her the the last dregs of it. Yeah. The last dregs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, wasn't immediate. It happened. What, an hour or so after she slept? I mean, that could be attributed to her being part god, perhaps. Well, we I need to, I, I need to I think. Have, I have something I may do during this rest of ours, but I will report to you how that goes when I do it. Please do. Do you need blood? Are you just... Like, do you need it right now? Is that why you were... Are you addicted? Or do you just no. really like it? Are you just kind of nasty? Uh, yes, that's a good one. I like that last one. I'm just a, um... Like... Did grandfathers. I'm very a heathen. Thirsty. Sure. Uh, I'm more meant like... Um... Are you... Are you okay? Is this a... Is this thing? a medical condition? Exactly. Is what she's trying need to ask you. Help with something. No. Do you need blood right now? Ever? I need rest, just like all of you other people made of normal flesh. That's Except I... for 
It's just you don't have to say. We it. could find. <laughs> <laughs> no, this will do. Gremlins. Thank you. Were you but born? Are, are you offering? If you needed something, potentially, it's fine. I don't care. You're fine, though. You said so. Maybe next time. <laughs> Dynamic we got here. Really <laughs> yeah, this is very. I don't, what a strange why? bunch. Is that weird? I don't know if someone needs something. All of you I don't ought care. to get some rest. It's interesting. No, I said that like giving. eight times. Takes another mm. drink. Well, you, maybe. Well, it's, just, it's just I. I have something I can do, but I. I it's it's Are distracting. You shy? I'm a little. Are you shy? shy. I'm a little shy. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I'm tree. gonna pat him on the arm. That's okay. I'm going to find a room. If we are done here, are we done? I think so. I don't okay. think there's anything else that we can do. We're we leaving her in this room. I think that's better than trying to move her. She looks really heavy. Will she fit under the bed? <laughs> it's, it's a small hallway, so it'd be a table. We'd have to put her under. It's fine. I, I, I will walk. No, like in in her in her room. Oh, if like, you is she... her room. Yeah, if, like you, if you're in a bed room, that had like kind of bed. yeah, like a double bed with kind of on stands. Yeah, for sure. Do that. Let's throw it on cinder blocks. Like you're in What university. do you think that's going to achieve? <laughs> I, I, I would. It, I think I, it will I, hide her. I would prefer we don't move her actually, because what I need to do is also in this room. So if she's here and I'm watching over her, I can also do. What I no one thinks that's weird. That's Everyone fine. thought I was weird for coming here. I she was... am a being of the world tree. We are different things. <laughs> I look, I don't <laughs> know what that means. You feast on Grendlings. <laughs> you... <laughs> you do? That's okay. Your soul is your soul is inside of an acorn. Shut up. Find, uh, oh, rub it in. <laughs> Okay, okay, break it what up, if break we it just up. just find rooms around here instead of... Yes. I wanted the window. You, you, if you want, go back to the room with the no, window. It sounds very lovely. Here. It's fine. Okay. It is on the inner side. You won't be able to find a windowed room if you want to sleep nearby. I sleep nearby. Okay. Eldred, where do you want to sleep? That room that we had just tried to go into, that one seemed ideal. Okay. Okay. So you slip off to go to your rooms. You rest up. Willoughby, <laughs> you remain behind. What are you planning to do? Well, over the course of the long rest, I want to prepare the spell Detect Poison and Disease, which is a 30-foot mm. radius around my character, which can penetrate most barriers uh, blocked by, like, a foot of stone that's so I can post it to you if you want. Sure. Um, hang on. I, I, it's not on my book yet, so I'm just going to okay. quickly paste it in. And... There you go. Uh, it is a 30-foot radius on me, so I can like kind of walk around and sense diseases around me. This would be after I prepared it, so it would be a couple hours well okay. past before I will be able to cast it. Yeah. But... Once some time has passed and that's capable for me to do, I want to cast it. It lasts for 10 minutes, concentration 30 feet around me, and I want to see if I detect any remnants of this poison anywhere else, both in this room, off of uh, their body, and in, like, the halls and area around it. You would detect coming from the body itself that clearly it's a, there's a potent amount of poison just running through her veins, but slowly, it's almost like her body is fighting back against it and slowing it down along with how both Juno and Draven did help to slow it down by a considerable amount. Probably giving her a good couple of days more. Now, what's the source of poison in the room? But, during the long rest, where in the room are you stood? It's, a, it's like a smaller hall, so it's got a few tables put together, a couple of pillars holding the room up, but maybe a couple of corner I think he would just lean against a pillar. What a perception check. Okay. Uh, 
Perception. That is a... That is a 26. Oh, sorry. Guidance would not be on it because I wouldn't know that I have to. Still 23. Roll. So that's a 23. Oh, no. Only 23. You'd be in the room. And you hear very quiet footsteps. Creaking of wood. And you see a shadowy figure step into the room. Look over towards Thrude. Hood up. Wearing a kind of a dark brown hood. Some furs underneath. With a 23, you can make out it's got a human face. No beard. Young man. It slowly creeps towards her. Eyes across her. You make out they have one blue eye and one green. Very, very vibrant colored eye. Have they not noticed me in the room? And then they look up and see you. Pull the hood down. And Will it be cast entanglement uh, the second they okay. see him? What do they have to roll? Uh, that is a wisdom. Hang on. Actually, no, it's not. It's, uh, ta- it is a strength saving throw. Strength. Uh, 15 spell save. The locks them in place. <laughs> Everyone! Will be, will yell out to the, uh, Yeah, me, me and Draven were staying nearby, so. Yeah. You two are too. has been, like, not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just alert. It's like, <laughs> 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 Who are you? <laughs> so you kind of, <laughs> You see his hands kind of just stuck at the side, trying to reach for a dagger on the belt. To try and come to three. And he sees his Juno and Drain kind of wake up and rush into the room. Shit. 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 Don't try it, <laughs> my friend. Just explain. It doesn't need... We don't... We I'd like to cast Trump person. Okay. Charisma save, right? Bells. Wisdom, maybe? Is it wisdom? Is it? Yeah, it charisma, a charisma. Uh, charm person is wiz, I think. It's wisdom, you're right. Yeah. Okay, then it's a 13. 14. Oh. I can I raise the heads? I'm terribly sorry. I was trying not to get caught. I'll just step back and let Draven, because I, you know, he's seemingly Dude. responding. I don't. Get caught what, my friend? I was... We know that she's, well, barely on the edge. Well, I was hired to make sure she was up to nothing so that my employer could leave if things started to become a little problematic. But Horik, don't worry about that. No. Hide by another. It wasn't the brothers. I thought they wanted this. We talked about it. Shouldn't really say. She wouldn't be oh. too be- best pleased. But I, she... I didn't mean anything by it. I, I was just, I'm just here to tell her about what's going on with that one. And, and, and I won't, I don't have to report back that she's dead. It's not a big deal, right? I don't have to report anything back. Um, I can just go. Would you like us to report it for you? I don't know if she'd be happy if I included you in. But I... then you would be safe. Look, and I put my hand on their shoulder above the vines. Let's be true. If you were here, that god is on the brink of death. It's better if you ever arrived we can do it for you or a persuasion check with advantage we'll be uh, able to cast guidance okay i hate this i got an insight check i'd like to do after these guys as well go for it now i'll wait for uh to get to uh and guidance is how much 1d4 uh so that's oh. a 20 total 
You're right. She might not... She might not be... I mean, I... You're already here. So it's not like it's a secret what happened to her, right? Exactly. I'm just hired to listen in on things, mate. I... She's in the Hall of Spoken Coin. Um, her name is Spring, or that's what everyone calls her. She's the one who takes in information around here. Spring? Spring. Like the, uh, like spring. the season. Spring. Mm -hmm. Hall of Spoken Coin, right? Yeah. Trust me, friend. It's better if you never made it to this hall at all. That's a good idea. Maybe I should just... I don't want to be on the nasty end of a dagger. I'm only paid to look at things. I was just paid to spy on her because I'm quiet. I'm real quiet. And looks straight towards you, Willoughby. I'm not very observant, though. I didn't expect anyone to be in here. Thought she'd be hung over and not just... Are you going to kill me? Uh, so as he's saying, Joe, there's, there's a couple of things I'd like to just... Um... So just to clarify from the way that he's speaking, and maybe this is an insight check, he didn't seem to expect her to be dead. It sounds like he was expecting her to be like hung over or something like that, right? Like he was just yeah. basically hired to come in and check on her. And then the other thing is like the way that he's speaking about this spring, like is he scared of spring? Is he like reverent towards her? Like what's his kind of vibe on that? That bit I'd say roll a uh, insight check. An insight check, okay. Boo. Natural one. Boo. You're not sure if the charm person is causing this person to act a little bit differently. And you realize there's not as many natural reactions. They're tied up, but yeah. they're acting like they're kind of a bit friendly and a little bit more trustworthy. So it's kind of... A bit like drugged up. Kind yeah, of thing. it's okay. causing you to kind of have some doubts. Yeah. But he didn't definitely didn't expect Throod to be poisoned. Does anyone else have any questions for my friend here? Because I think he's on the up and up. I... Oh, yes. Really? I have nothing else to ask. I think speaking to her and his employer would be a very wise idea, though. Is there a, is there a name we should give her, by the way, friend? You're going to give her my name? Uh, maybe best if you just... Maybe if you just... Uh, uh passphrase perhaps or something that you might recognize friends she might recognize us as friends if we were to say um stormy weather, stormy weather. Stormy. i have one question for our good friend here draven if you don't mind what sort of other things does spring ask you to look into what sort of other things in the halls have you been asked to be aware of uh, in the I'm, past i just watch people i'm good at following Such people as? Um, I mean, she's only been here a little while, uh, for the festival, so she, she paid me when she, she looked around for me and inquired for someone who might be sneaky to, first she wanted to, I was hired to watch the gods if they came, and then when they didn't, she changed it to watch through. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. All I do is watch people. I don't harm anyone. I just, just, okay. just a bit of I'll coin. Just, I'll sort of <laughs> make sure that he can't see me, but I'll mouth to uh, Draven and Willoughby like, what now? <laughs> like, oh, I have zero interest in this person. They are very clearly not on the... They're just, they're just list. been, exactly, they've just, just been employed high. help. I'm going to be honest with you, my friend. We're happy to help you in this circumstance. Okay. In three minutes, you're going to realize you're experiencing a compulsion. But if you cause a problem with the three of us, that camaraderie will turn to killing. So I'm going to end it. You're gonna realize, and then you're gonna leave. And if you cause problems for me, I will suck the blood of you and generations of your family to come. Understand? One intimidation check. 
He's not fucking around, and we'll be all cast guys. Okay. Hell yeah. Yeah, it looks very worried. Uh, eh, it's not a whole lot. Let's see. I'll give you. I'll give you. Um. I'll give you an uh, advantage as well because you are under the effects of charm person, so he's trusting your words. He sees you as a friend, <laughs> <laughs> essentially you're threatening kill him. Me. <laughs> there it is. Uh, so nineteen. Yeah. All right. Uh, sure. I won't hold any grudge. I promise that you're doing me a favor, really. Yeah. Better than what's, fall. What's your name? Huh. I'm Ander. Ander? Ander. Ander. I see. He's gonna write it down. Will it be what you go right letting Ander go? Sure, sure. And he'll st stop holding concentration on Entangle. That's a guy. Ah. Good trick you got there, though. Can I go? <laughs> After you. He rushes out of the room. You think the other two would have killed him? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. It's like, with, deeper and deeper. They've got a, a bloodlust. They are question. terrifying. I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> really? to After like you that. just threatened that man and you're calling them terror. I mean, they are terrifying, but you are also yeah, terrifying. But, but I threatened them. Like, they just... <laughs> I did think you were going to eat that guy. I, he looks not ripe. The other two definitely. There is some, something more. There's there's they a real hatred of Thor, which I wasn't the, expecting from Asgardians. I, I thought I would have, Thor was a hero. I yes. I'm going to be honest. I don't personally like the guy. He scares me. He scares me greatly. But well, that's uh, not a good reason to dislike someone. It's a pretty decent. I mean, if. You, <laughs> They're dying on the ground begging for my help. I would laugh at him and kick some sand in his face and then walk away. But no. unless he wasn't doing that, I'd be I'd probably be a little bit more cool. You know, there's a chance that uh Thrudur can still hear us. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Again I think uh, Raven with I think we've bought her a few days, but unless we can find a, a legendary antidote, I, I don't have many good... My my hopes are not high for her. I don't think I hope we have to does. find the antidote. We just have to... Okay, don't let the others... Don't tell I, the others to... La, 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 la. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll I, know what, I know what he's going to say, <laughs> and I don't want to hear it. I'll so walk I'm up to Willoughby. Willoughby, you're not going to like this. You are not going to like this. We have to let Thor know that she's not doing well. Oh, I don't like this. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, but, but, wouldn't it be much better to have him on your side like this? Joe. He, the mm -hmm. peace of the world tree, it helped to save his blood. How, how, because, like, obviously, I've established I have at least some connection with Thor. Would my character truly believe that Thor would be cool with us under, like, if we, you know, met him in this context? Thor is a family is man. He, uh, Thor really does, you know, there's a, plenty of stories where Thor and his couple of sons, uh, and occasionally his daughter, um, fight giants and whatnot together. It is... He's also not a very patient man. I think it's a safe bet to say that maybe, but the likelihood is that Thor has a kind of a very simple solution to most things. <laughs> Thor smash, is going smash. to rip us up and then he's going to turn this place into a crater. That I can mostly assure you. Mm. So saving her... Or at least extending her life to the point where it can't be our fault anymore is okay. the wisest option we have. If we don't want and to die. The thing is, he needs to know that directly from us. This fucking man. He just wants deals. I don't want to tell him. He just wants power and deals. <laughs> You're going to get us all killed, dude. 
That's Mark speaking, not Jim. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I already made a deal. Y'all know I'm a warlock. Yeah. But he's collecting them like fucking Pokemon Joe. cards at this point. I, uh, just, uh, Lena would want to talk to Eldred before they fell asleep. So. Okay. What were you about to say, sorry, quickly, would it be? Sorry. What were you going to say? Yeah. I was going to ask if, like, throughout, like, using, like, with my connection to Yggdrasil and stuff, if there was a way for me to easily, like, more easily send a message across distances to someone else. I would say because you've been out of practice for a little while, not currently. Okay. You could probably discover some ways to do it. Well, we have no way to tell them right now unless you have a magical way to contact a god of this plane because... I don't currently. It's I'm a little rusty. Leave me. Let's talk. And I think I think that's all I have for that scene. The, the last thing I want to do, Joe, is yeah. I want to establish: was I able to, with detect poison, like actually scope out the like hall? Because I would like yeah. to spend some time going through the whole thing and see if I actually detected it. There is no other poison in the, in the hall. hall. Okay. If she was poisoned, it wasn't here, or at least right. wasn't digested from anything in here. Right. Um, that's it for me. Over in Lena and Eldred's room. So we are staying for now. Mm-hmm. Are you okay with this? I'm okay with this. This is less uh, emotional for me than I would assume you. Yes. I, I don't think much... we are. I don't think don't think we are at immediate threat of death. No, I don't either. I would very, very much like to know who it was that was trying to poison Thor. Me Ares, too. I don't care about. I think Ares it's... is most likely. Very interesting to me. Um, also, I hope Trude doesn't wake up. She's shit as well. I hope she wakes up so we can watch her pain. Actually, that's true. Oh, Trude, I'm so sorry. Bruder's dead. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry no. about that. He was shit. Your shit. Your father is also shit. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So, are we okay to, are you okay to, uh, keep up with this, with them? You seem okay. Yeah, yeah. They, they seem okay. They seem good. We I... have a, a thoughtful boxer. I, uh, yes, a she damp like here, a, a blood-sucking gladiator first... of sorts. I thought at first it was just, like, a hobby, but I think it is not, no. There's the blood? Like, I think, yeah, I don't, you see all sorts of people when you travel. You know, I think the thing is, right, people are people and everyone is different and they do their own thing and, you know, some people like to drink blood, it's not that I think it was the, just weird. a, I don't a know. stick just a thing. that he enjoyed the, uh, the aesthetic of it. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I've met all sorts, right? I think it strengthens him in some way. Okay. So, I don't, uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I, I think for now I am good to go with. We will see what we see. We will see what we find. Maybe we kill a yes. gentle and make some money. That yes. would be nice. Have sleep in more beds, not on the road. Um, I think for now I would like to keep uh, my story, my secret yes. to us. Yes? Yes, of course. And I will keep yours until you t start to tell them. Yes. Okay. We need to get to know these people, but for now they seem fine and we'll take it... One day at a time. Maybe I feel little... like things can uh, develop very quickly in this situation. They can. I feel sad for Juno a little. I think maybe she's very dutiful. Yes. And uh, wants to do good. 
and I think she might get ruined, but we will see. <laughs> the others, I don't think, Draven, I don't think he cares. And we'll be... I think he's so far <laughs> different that yeah. he won't care either. He's just trying to survive. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Good. We will get some sleep then. Talk to them in the morning. Save through I guess. <laughs> get paid. And see yes. what is next. Kill monsters. Yes. Save lives. Unless they are shit. Yes. That's good. I'm gonna just nod. So. Is everyone resting before dealing with anything the next day? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and give yourselves a full long rest. And uh, oh. you'll also be leveling from that long rest to level three. Ooh, yes! Yeah! And really, when you start to come have fun with the. Oh, thank Lord. Well, I still got to wait a little bit. It's a lot. Is there an easy way to do a long rest? You can level up in that. Yeah, there's, there's a fight before the next session. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you just level up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, before, obviously, before we end and whatnot, what, where do you go next? That's a great question. <laughs> well, the trail's still hot for the Grendel. Uh, at least from what will be observed. Plus, I mean, while I didn't bring it up with the group there, I suppose I would mention that uh, the bounty, there are other people vying to get the bounty. So if we want to actually get paid for this job, we'd want to do it sooner than later. There's also this spring in the Hall of Spoken Coin. Seems to be somebody who knows, or at least is involved in keeping an ear to things. They may also be somebody who can direct us, or maybe offer jobs of things to do. Um, or yeah, pursuing Legrandel. Um, if I remember correctly, the guard said they had a couple of days before they sh they could actually go on the hunt. Like they were supposed to be guarding, like the festival for now mm. so technically we have yeah, like a day or two to investigate here before we are losing out on our opportunity to hunt that monster and get answers before ourselves before other people get involved yeah. yeah there was two days of the festival left right there's three days and this was the first day so um, yeah yeah i think to investigate how how good the did, did will be here what the bounty is I didn't hear what the bounty was, okay. but I know that it's apparently it's enough a, it's that no, people are willing to it's risk been their no bounty. Yeah, he said uh, yeah. Yeah. That he was going to have to set up the bounty. Like, so time. Yeah, so I think we'd want to talk to the king and figure out how uh, yeah. how willing he is. Also, what kind Sorry, of info we can get on Grendel, right? Before mm -hmm. we go, just like have a chat with him. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to see if the prophet grabs him and then. Oh yeah, prophet. I'm gonna see if the prophet is still around because if nothing yeah. else, he oh, would be someone God. who knows how to contact a god. Yeah, I wanted to ask the prophet about the tale of uh, Yomangunda and this poison. I wanted to hear the tale of like what this Thor's poison was, mm. um, and then yeah, pursue the Grendel. Like, like you know, is quite keen on like this idea of battling this monster and like learning from it. But uh, she also wants <laughs> to dig into the mystery here and sort of get answers to things. So. Okay. Well, then I'll let you decide next week as you can head towards the king to learn about the bounty. You can head towards seeking out the spring character. Investigate the poison. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, go I think that's another good angle to pursue. So you have a few days. The, the festival does go on and you have extended through his life. But for now, that's where we'll finish tonight's session and come back to it next week. Wild. Oh. Nicely done. Raven's a fucking mess. <laughs> no. Gabe, no. What are you doing here? I came here to suck her blood. That's believable. <laughs> I just, it's just like, it's like the army of spookies 
the tree man who's just trying to do his job. He's like an office clerk who's just like, I'm just here to <laughs> fill out my retirement. I'm Willoughby papers. from accounting. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, hey, <laughs> you guys. Uh, oh, hello, sir. And, like, and then it's just this like bewildered like 20 year old who's like, what the fuck? Yeah, you already are the deep end. I saw, I saw what Mark said in the chat, which was, I was told this was the non film campaign. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like, like, hey. it's just like, no, oh, poor sweet Juno trying to actually help people. And I'm like, I thought this <laughs> yeah, was the heroes. game. I'm with you, Mark. Hey, I'm, I'm with you. Lives. Look, yeah, hey, you I'm not that. a villain. We're I'm just a problem. Lives. We're just also you just, not, you're, you're, you're not villains. You're complicated. We're, yeah. we're having a conversation like, oh, let's like save him. food. And like, exactly. oh, yeah, let's save food by punching her in the stomach. <laughs> Well, yeah. she's unconscious and poisoned. Oh, Is this okay, helping? I don't know so much about medicine. Let me try. <laughs> Let me try. <laughs> what? You're, in a, you're in a very help. complicated group, Juno. It's great. And, uh, it's you amazing. Are, you are the, the, the centerpiece magnet that is going to oh stop them from breaking you off the rail. You are a sweet summer child. You're yeah, yeah which I was not expecting cost. to be. <laughs> yeah. Main character. Um, so she's not even that good, but yeah. Jesus. <laughs> amazing. So, Let's do some shout outs uh, before we end. Uh, let's spin it around going the other way this time. Let's start. Oh, me on. first. Hang on. I want to go first. Ooh, okay. Yeah, sure. Come on, you go first. Whoa. I got nothing. Fucker. <laughs> but I did want to get it out of the way. You got owned, Joe. You got fucking owned. How does that feel? I hate this man. Um, <laughs> he played you. He played you. We'll just, we'll just mess up the order then. Uh, let's go from Tomato <laughs> straight to... Uh, let's go straight up to Gabe. Uh, hi, I'm Gabe James Games. You can find me across the internet at Gabe James Games. I said my username instead of my name. I'm Gabe Hicks. Mm -hmm. um, this is this is pretty much like the main thing. There's a couple of things coming on like next month, but like this is an easier month for me. Uh, I'm celebrating my birthday tomorrow, which is exciting. Uh, but I did I did not want to miss this. This was one of the things that I was like, notes are bad, Joe. You messed me up. <laughs> You destroyed well, me. I have a seven-page Google Doc. We played one session. <laughs> well, next I've week you have a birthday so inspiration, notes. by the way. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. Um, That's really it. Awesome. We'll definitely check them out. Uh, let's move it all the way. Let's go weird with it. Let's go over towards OG. Shout Thanks. out to uh, this new layout. Cause I think I don't ever have to go first in shout outs now. Cause I'm like weirdly in the middle. Oh, yeah, so no matter which pop. way Joe goes, I don't have to go first, which is pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, what's up? I'm OLG. Every once in a while I stream stuff. Uh, I like to go about six months between streams. And then I like to uh, start a game I've never played and then uh, spend about three hours getting through the first 15 minutes. Cause I bitch about it and everything and everyone in it. If you uh, are interested in that kind of thing, maybe I'll see you in six months. Otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter. It's been six months since your last I, stream, so. I think it has been. Yeah, no, I was just saying, I'm like, actually, I actually think it has been six months. Uh, also, you can follow me on Twitter, and I bitch about shit there, too. Basically, do you like bitching about stuff? I'm your lady. Fair enough, fair enough. Now we bounce it back over to Brizzy. <laughs> I'm Brizzy Voices. I'm on Twitch, Brizzy Voices, and YouTube doing voicey things, <laughs> um, and Instagram, and yep, got a D and D podcast, cast party, D and D. Look it up. Awesome. Gabe's on it. <laughs> yeah, nice. In a couple episodes. That's <laughs> right. And finally, Mark. Oh, uh, you can find me at Sherlock underscore Humes or Sherlock Humes pretty much most places i think it's got an underscore at the end on twitch uh you can follow me there the other thing i do the big thing i do is high rollers dnd it's another it's another dnd live stream live play show uh we play in person in our brand new studio it's amazing uh, it's uk based it looks so gorgeous good. we're gonna get joe, we're gonna get joe down uh and get him on at some point for campaign next campaign i think um but yeah you can come and check that out it's every sunday at 5 p.m just before God forged. So you come over, you watch what? High Rollers, you have a lovely time, then you go sure. and you have a bit of dinner, you have a break, and then you watch the awesome God forged. And that's your Sunday is entertainment. Sunday um, D. Sunday D. So come come watch that. Uh, you can also catch all the previous episodes of High Rollers on YouTube and on Spotify podcast as well. We've been doing it like six years. There's tons of stuff to go and watch and catch up on and with that. 
Um, and then, yeah, I mentioned earlier on as well, yeah. uh, me and Brizzy are going to be doing a charity game on Monday on the D&D Beyond uh, Twitch channel um, for Jasper's awesome. game day uh, for charity, which is going to be awesome. Come and watch that. Awesome. Um, well, thank you everyone for playing. I'm Joe Fudge, by the way, if thank you come you. here. Um, you can find me on this channel. On Sundays, I run Godforge in the evening after High Rollers. So do check that out if you're interested. We're, we're deep into the campaign. Um, you'll see the oh, likes yeah. of Tomato and OLG in that campaign as well. Um, other than that, I read homebrews every Tuesday. So if you're interested in talking D and D stuff, come by the channel then. Um, I have a Patreon where I put all my notes and stuff on there as well, so you can check that out. But otherwise, check out the charity stream on Monday. Watch everyone during the week, and come on by next week for episode three of Mistletoe. Thank you oh, yeah. everyone for coming out, and thank you guys as always for playing. Thank you. Catch you all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.